Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is week six of the Redefy Academy League. We have an exciting game here tonight, or exciting games. Uh, these are the last games of the regular season. We'll be moving into playoffs next, so every team tonight is looking to bring their A game. Uh, and tonight, we have Edouard Montpetit versus La Lost Collective Boomers. Uh, they are both looking to be uh, super competitive tonight. Um, Lost Collective Boomers are looking to be first seed here, uh, looking to take the win. Uh, I expect them to uh, to be dominant just like they they have been. So, uh, Edouard Montpetit has to bring their A game if they're looking to uh, looking to bring this out. Um, <clears throat> I'll be your caster, Mystic Asian tonight, and uh, alongside with me, I got Pooter Butt here. Uh, I will let her introduce herself, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll roll from there. Hi guys, thanks for the intro, Mystic. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I appreciate. Um, you guys letting me cast, and I'm pretty excited to see how this game turns out. Yeah, it should be super, super competitive. Like we said, uh, we are moving into playoffs next. So, uh, yeah, every team here, uh, you know, is really, really going to step it up tonight. And as we get into the draft here, uh, we do see, uh, we do see some power bands coming out. Um, you know, definitely we see Samir here and Yone getting banned out on each of the sides here. Uh, both of those, um, both of those champs can definitely uh, solo carry into uh, into late game and into just you know basically uh, kind of one sided here, um, especially in the hands of uh, of the players here uh, on each of the sides uh, tonight. Um, but we are seeing here the uh, Ash and the Shen being picked up uh, for the side of Lost Collective. That is a lot of CC and utility coming out here. Uh, meanwhile, here on um, Edouard Montpetit, we have Caitlyn and Morgana coming out. We do see uh, it looks like it could be uh, bot, both bot side picks coming out here um, early. So, yeah, it, looking looking to be kind of uh, ooh, a squishy pick coming out here. Hoots, what are your, what are your thoughts so yeah. far seeing these, pick, seeing these picks and bands uh, uh, so far? Well, um, I'm guessing the Shen is pretty much a flex pick. It can be taken uh, pretty much anywhere. Support, jungle, if they kind of want to. Top lane. I'm really curious about the Kog'Maw. So if I were to guess... Oh, I see. So Kog'Maw is actually a Pantheon pick. So oh, it's Ash, nice. Shen, Pantheon. Yeah, so that okay. makes a little bit more sense. I was I was gonna guess Kogma mid, but yeah, it was a same, same. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was a little little curious there too. Uh, you know, not the uh, not the usual pick you usually see coming <laughs> out been, here. That would have been an interesting um, one for sure. Definitely would have been spicy in uh, in tonight's games. Uh, it is gonna be a best of three. Uh, so yeah, it should be, uh, should be interesting. And, um, you know, at warm on petite, right. They are looking to, to win this. And if they do, um, they will have to go into a tiebreaker here <clears throat> against lost collective again. Um, but if lost collective, uh, boomers do take it, uh, like they are seated to do so, um, at warm on petite is not quite out of it. They might still have a lifeline here if Imperial Knights can break out a win tonight. So, uh, you know, depending on how the games go tonight, um, you know, it could lead down to some uh, some intense, crazy tiebreakers uh, coming out here at the end of the season. Um, so we'll have to see here how uh, how these games tank out tonight. Um, again, it's a best of three, so uh, we should we should be able to see. Um, you know, some crazy, crazy plays here. I'm hoping it goes uh, to maybe, you know, to the game three. Um, so, yeah, as we get into the last stages of the picks and bans, we do see here the Yasuo and the Zach coming out. We see a lot of combo picks that we see targeted towards Lost Collective. They, they know um, that they might be able to go through, right? The Zach knockup into the Yasuo, uh, we all know is pretty dirty. Um, you know, Yone there also looking like uh, the mid lane here for Lost Collective uh, could pop off on some of these champions, and they are aware of that, looking to get that out of the game. We do see the Kindred pick here coming up last. We know that the ult uh, the ultimate there can be crazy uh, game-changing here. Um, and yeah, Shen, uh, looks like that'll be a Shen top of that's Pantheon instead of Kog'Maw. So, uh, again, Ash, uh, Shen, Pantheon, Kindred, and now we are waiting for this last pick to come out here. It is going to be a Fiddlesticks. Oh, no, sorry. Cassio. 
Cassiopeia. Yeah, sorry, looked like a mm-hmm. fiddle there for just a second. Um, but yeah, uh, as we get into the last teams here, I mean, yeah, looking at the team cons, Peter, what do you think? Uh, what, do you think there's a team that has a, a bigger advantage? I mean, Lost Collective have been looking dominant on their champions and their team, uh, you know, throughout the whole entire regular season. Uh, how are you feeling about Edmar Montpetit look coming into this game? Um, well, I think the Morgana is a really strong pick, bot lane. So Pantheon Ash is really aggressive. Well, Pantheon with anybody bot lane is really aggressive lane, but Morgana pretty much counters a lot of the aggressiveness that Pantheon puts out just from her black shield alone. So, but she won't have that level one, so they could get something early, but with the range that Morgana and Caitlyn bring, it'll be hard for them to get that lane snowballing. So I'm kind of interested to see how that'll turn out. But as far as the whole team comp goes, I really do think that Eduardo Monpetit has a better comp. Just with the Volibear top, Jarvan Jungle, Oriana, they just have such a huge combo with Jarvan, Ori, and Volibear alone with Caitlyn just putting out that DPS from behind. So we'll see. Yeah, definitely. I like a uh, scene here. Um, you know, Lost Collective have to set up some picks here. They do have like, I feel like the counter, uh, they have like the way to engage, but then also counter engage. Uh, Edward, uh, they have the way to just kind of get the picks, right? They have the picks, mm-hmm. but they also have so much engage with the Jarvan uh, being the uh, Oriana ball delivery system, right? Volibear kind of mm-hmm. goes in, Jarvan gets a huge ultimate, Ori gets a huge ultimate. You know, more uh, more can come in there with her ultimate trying to get everyone locked in. You know, if they're all tied together, uh, it could lead to some pretty big uh, wombo combos. But um, the only thing that I see that, uh, you know, Lost Collective really has to look for when they're going for that is the Kindred ult, right? To mm-hmm. save everybody from that high burst potential to be yeah. able to, you know, uh, say, you know what, you're going to go all in. We know that that is what your objective is. Uh, and we're, we're just going to try and counter that. So. Uh, it'll it'll be it'll be really dependent. I mean, Edward um, has the way to go in, right? It's super easy. I feel like it's an easy engage for them to go in. They don't have to really. Uh, it doesn't have to be a super super crazy setup for them. They can just kind of make sure everyone's ults are up and then just go in. I feel like Lost Collective has a little bit more tricky time, um, you know, trying to get the setup for them uh, to go through. So it'll be interesting to see how each of these uh, team comps play out. Um, but yeah, I am looking for, uh, Edouard Montpetit to come out, uh, you know, looking and swinging in this first game. I'm actually looking to see, I like their team comp a little bit more. Yeah, they're, they're definitely pick and team fight oriented with the Morgana Q. If she gets that off with the Caitlyn trap underneath here, it's pretty much a guaranteed death. Um, if Morgana gets that pick. And then, like you said, the Jarvan and Oriana combo is pretty deadly. Um, though, that's why I think, like you said, the Kindred ulti will be really detrimental if they can get it off like in time if they get engaged on by them so i don't know but they they scale pretty well with cassiopeia and kindred but pantheon falls off really hard shen is always going to be shen and ash you know she ends up becoming an r bot you know just pressing that crystal arrow if she does she gets behind early so we'll have to see but i like like you said i'm pretty leaning towards the the super engaged Jarvan Oriana. I want to see some combos this game. Yeah, definitely uh, looking to see some combos. Uh, I love seeing clean wombos go off. I think we all enjoy seeing uh, some some massive damage and setups. You know, going out. Um, you know, and th- these are the games to uh, to break those out. You know, these are uh, the you know the final games. Every every team is looking to either clench their spot um, or you know make it out. So. Um, yeah, Lost Collective, uh, you know, they are super, super strong. We've seen uh, Antic pop off. We've seen Filiberto pop off. I mean, we've seen everybody pop off. So, you know, yeah, definitely looking to see Lost Collective uh, bring the aggression. Um, I think we're, we're all excited to, to see how that plays out. Um, and yeah, I mean, at Warbomb T, they're, they're not going to go down easy. So, uh, you know, looking in, um, you know, as we get into the spectator delay, they will be loading into game here shortly. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be excited to see how this how this plays out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see see what happens here. Um, yeah, looking to see, though, our other games. I mean, yeah, I, I depending on how this how this goes, right? We're looking to see a lot of tiebreakers. Um, so if, you know, Lost Collective end up losing this, 
and uh, you know, uh, Edouard Montpetit get the better of them. They still have the tiebreaker, and they can take what happens in these games, uh, and you know, try and take it and learn and see how they're going to take it out to clench it. I mean, they have been uh, Lost Collective have been such a strong team, um, you know, throughout this whole entire league. So. Yeah, I you know it'll be it'll be crazy to see. I'm I'm always down for an underdog story, period. So, yeah, we'll uh we'll have to see here uh how Edouard Montpetit react and uh, see if they can clench this out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm interested. Three. Um, I'm also looking. Uh, they have Volibear, which I'm guessing is going to be top. I've seen it a lot in Worlds recently, so it, it could be he he just gets so tanky and such a huge front line. It's just disgusting how gross volibear is especially when you take him top oh yeah worlds has been awesome uh all you league fans out there um you know i'm sure everyone everyone has been uh watching watching the games or at least the rebroadcast i know they're pretty early but um yeah i mean definitely we've been seeing some of these champions pop off in the uh in the stage light there uh and so yeah volibear coming into this um we all know he can be he can be just disgusting um you know he he can get so big and so i think a lot of this will definitely depend on how the jungle plays out right like Mm -hmm. how what team uh or what lane uh excuse me what lane is going to be able to come ahead are are they going to be able to either solo win um you know and then maybe the jungle can look elsewhere to to maybe get you know everyone everyone ahead you know that i obviously that's the ideal uh, ideal situation but um yeah i mean yeah we might see the jarvin volley just kind of you know repeat repeat just kind of living up there just to make sure that volleybear can get ahead because uh yeah i mean he can be unstoppable especially coming on to you know some champions like ash and i mean they're all kind of squishy but once you get past the cc so it'll all really depend um on how lost collective play that out um like we said we're looking for the counter engage right like Cas- castle uh ash arrow you know the shen taunt they have so much uh versatility on whether or not they choose to use those for picks um or whether or not they're gonna wait for uh everyone on um mon petit to uh to engage right they're waiting for them to blow all their cooldowns and then look for the counter uh, i think that can be a deadly and nasty comeback so um yeah if that happens i'm looking to see some crazy gameplay come out and uh, looks like we'll be loading into the rift here. Uh, everyone in chat, we love seeing you here. Uh, you know, these are going to be uh, some hopefully some exciting games here tonight. We'd love to see you guys here. Um, you know, shout out in the chat who you want to see win here tonight. Um, you know, we definitely love seeing all the support uh, for, for all your teams. So, um, yeah, uh, here we go. We should be we should be we should be loading in here. And uh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. As we as we get here. Uh, yeah. I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, we do have. Uh, I'm sorry. Looking at the stats here. It looks like. Yeah, man. Lost collective boomers. Looks like all their players here are looking super super strong. We have seen Philly Berto and Anto carry games here. Uh, just looking at stats here, but no, ma- uh, no manager 43 is looking to clutch it out. Looks like this might be actually like a bot game fight here. Because looking at the stats, uh, we might see each of these bot lanes going out. I mean, uh, I know we both, uh, we both are partial to the bot lane. So uh, yeah, it looks like we might be some exciting games uh, today. Uh, I mean, I like the Kate Morg pick, right? Uh, mm-hmm. the, the traps into the, or the, sorry, the more Q into the traps can be deadly. Uh, you know, we are looking to see though, the aggression for Pantheon, uh, oh no, sorry, actually Shen. Sorry. I think pa- that's a Pantheon jungle. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be up to the Morgana Qs and black shields, I think to depend on how this bot lane is going to go. But I do think that, uh. Yeah, we might see jungle engage start to go bot just to see if we can get one of these bot lanes ahead because looking at the players, they have been popping off. So should be uh should be exciting. But I don't know what's going on here. Benj, are we getting into game here? I think you popped in to say something earlier, but I didn't quite get that earlier. I don't know, but it looked like we are loading in. 
Um, okay, cool. Confirmation that we are actually loading in. Uh, there it goes. Sorry, I was hearing the noise. I was hearing the sound effects, but uh, yeah, it looked like here it took just a second to load. Looks like the game has been paused already. Uh, not quite sure. Uh, not quite sure why. Maybe some loading issues here. Yeah, might have been a loading issue. Um, we have been seeing a lot of uh, clients uh, <laughs> bug out lately. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, pausing <laughs> in. Uh, you know, not the not the crazy start. We do see here the items. You know, looking in, we got some items coming out here. So I mean, we got We have to talk about the Kindred Mid. It's uh, Pantheon Jungle and Kindred Mid. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Versus you're, you're an exactly Oriana. Right. Versus an Oriana. I mean. Hmm. I haven't seen Kindred Mid. That this is this is totally new. Uh, I have not <laughs> seen this track come out uh, before. Maybe Lost Collective. Uh, but Lost Collective is known to take out some uh, some weird stuff. I think we did see here. Was it was it a Lee Sin Mid earlier? I I don't remember exactly. But I feel like Lost Collective have pulled something out crazy like this before. So uh, yeah, we should see how this Kindred likes to play this. Uh, as we get in, so we do see the Shen getting spotted out here. The Morgana cube uh, dark bindy does not hit and looks like they will just back off here uh, and go back to a normal start. So not an, not a super exciting start to the game here. <laughs> I mean, um, they tried it. <laughs> yeah, tried. you know, they're, they're looking, they're looking, but um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty standard start here tonight. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this team comp real quick. Pantheon jungle. Okay, we know that uh, level six, right? He'll be looking to, uh, you know, looking to go in here. Um, Kindred though, versus the Oriana. I don't know how that matchup is gonna go for for her. I mean, Kindred is super squishy. Uh, you know, level six will save her, but it's a long way till then. And Ori has so much poke and damage that I think Ori should just be able to take this lane, uh, so, you know, and, and clench it out. I think I, w I have to mention that uh, Ash doesn't seem to have any items. Oh, is this a mistake? Maybe that they're going through. I thought that maybe since the pause, right, they were yeah. uh, we we're gonna see some items come through. That's kind maybe... of unlucky. No pots. No. Yeah. No. no nothing. Blade. I mean, Kate can just poke her out if uh, if she can. Yeah, if she can play this right. So. Yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, looks like maybe an early game misplay coming out, but we do see the flash engage onto the Oriana. Kindred coming out to get try and get some damage down. Uh, but Jarvan looking to uh, get some damage here onto the cast top lane here. And it is just going to be flashes so many. Flashes. Yeah, flashes burn everywhere. Um, okay, well, cooldowns all over the map. Uh, some engage mid and top. Uh, not looking, uh, you know, really picking anything up, but we are set up for the next engagement. So it will be how, um, you know, these junglers decide how to play this, uh, knowing that sums are going to be down, uh, at least for that escape ability. So, yeah, looking down to the bot lane, uh, super, super casual right now. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about this. Ash is definitely looking to, I don't know, stall this out as much as you can. But Caitlyn is just going to be able to kind of just get in there and, uh, yeah, just do Kate things. So, uh, man, not having items, not having the pot for, you know, the, the sustain there uh, is really going to hurt this bot lane. Meanwhile, we do have a knockup onto the Pantheon oh, here. Oh, here we go. Both Neither the of them. Oh, yep. the flash. Okay, having to be burnt there uh, to make it out alive. But, oh, my gosh. Yeah, the team, uh, Edward, or sorry. Uh, yeah. Of Watermon Petite closing in onto this Pantheon, and Oriana is going to be able to pick up the kill onto the Pantheon there. Great closure uh, on on the team there. Uh, they were able to uh, basically bait him in with the Jarvan engage. Uh, you know, has the uh, flash to get out, but meanwhile, the team uh, from bot and mid are closing in. Uh, great, great communication and synergy there. Uh, on the side of a Marmar uh not looking great for a uh, lost collective. Uh, that's not how you wanted to start this out, but we'll see how they play. You know, it's still super, super early and early, uh, an early kill like that doesn't mean too, too much uh, when I've definitely seen them come back from worse. So uh, yeah, we'll just see how this, how this game goes through. But yeah, I mean, uh, right. Like we said, the aggression coming out already 
Uh, it's been not top right. They've been looking for the invade. Uh, you know, didn't quite get anything there. Just a little bit of information. But ever since then, it's kind of just been uh, aggression here on both sides of the map. I mean, yeah, it's just movement all over. Yeah, well, we saw here that Ash uh, got that recall and was able to get some items. She also picked up the coal, which is good. Oh, man. Okay. Great to see items come out. I mean, you <laughs> definitely still have right the starting gold that you had before. So, you know, picking up some items there, definitely the call helps uh, to really kind of get you back in it. I know, right, she's probably just thinking, uh, yeah, I, this is this is all I can do to really kind of get back into the game. Nothing really big was gonna come out, um, you know, especially, especially not having the damage to really engage her trade, so. Yeah, okay, good to see items. Caitlyn racking up the farm here. Uh, definitely looking maybe to get a kill uh, or some pokes. They do get the dark binding off under tower, but uh, Kate already used her Q earlier. So just there for the pokes. Looking to get this BF sword, I believe is what she's gonna try and go. We're gonna looking to step up, maybe get a dark binding, but Shen's gonna dash out. Some Oh, okay. So looks like we got a little bit of engage here. Cast is very, very squishy here, but Pantheon coming up behind to maybe try and get the gauge. Yep, does get the stun. Gets his uh, damage out here. The spear, I think, is going to come out to finish that. It does look like we have some engaged bot, though. We have the Q, Morgana Q coming out. Volley Bear is huge, like we were seeing earlier. Wow. Does able to get the trade. It is just outrageous how tanky he is and like we said we were seeing the jungle uh, pressure to get this volley bear going to get the top lane monster started and we're starting to see it already with that trade there which i thought the cast was going to be able to get that and the jarvan uh you know was going to be able to clean that up but the turn is huge and there goes the kill just like we see the more uh Kaylin picking it up oh no is right foods it is <laughs> not looking great uh when you are trapped and it's just gonna be easy lineups for the Kaylin to uh to take you out there so i'm just gonna push this wave crash it in but uh yeah wow aggression all over and it is looking like edward montpetit's game here tonight they are coming out not looking to mess around. It's already a 2k gold lead. What's really interesting is that fight top, Cass went on the Volibear when it was like two waves big. She took so much damage from the wave and then by the time Pantheon got there, she was too low to help him. And so then he ended up 1v1ing the Volibear and then, you know, dying for it. So yeah. it was definitely not worth at all. I mean, and then, it's, oh my gosh, what a what yeah. a crazy turn of events. I, I thought that they were going to be able to get it. It looked like you were super low, I mean, but I guess Volibear gets super, super big at the end there and uh, is, is definitely tanky. I just thought it was going to go a different direction. Yeah, we do see just some poke out there. Cass is definitely getting her damage onto that Volibear. Uh, looking really, really good there. Just can't, has to watch out for the all-in. I mean, yeah. the all-in will definitely... She'll be able to poke him, but I don't know if she'll out. be able to kill him if he stays under his turret, so... Yeah, and I don't think... I, it's really just dark on the top side of the map, so I don't know if she knows where Jarvan is. Uh, I don't know if he's been spotted out, uh, but definitely has to play safe, uh, you know, with the knowledge that they have. But uh, yeah, aside from that, we do see Jarvan uh, getting the red buff here. Uh, maybe looking to go up, we do see some pings. Uh, I think they might have been spotted out actually by a ward there. So just looking to call that out to make sure that they're not going to be able to uh, get anything off of that. But we're getting really, really close. I don't know if uh, Shen had taunted there. But uh, yeah, just getting some vision. Normal plays here. And Warmoth is he looking to just clench, uh, hold on to this lead and extend it. Uh, you know, throughout this game, they're looking to take this and hold it. Lost Collective, I don't know what they're looking for here to really get themselves back into this game. Uh, you know, with gold all over the map, uh, you know, on every, uh, almost every one of the players, uh, you really just got to shut, shut down, uh, you know, shut down some people here, get something going. Man, we do see some engage there, just the classic uh, Dark Binding stuck into the Q, into the net, uh, you know, proc, into the headshot. It's just so much damage from bot lane. Uh, you really have to watch out for those Qs. Meanwhile, we do see the top engage here. Let's try again, round two. You know, Volibear has to ult out, but the Pantheon uh, stun and the flashes come out to clean that up. 
Wow, that is a crazy, crazy uh, plays, but they do take it here. There's just so much follow-up, so much damage. Uh, Pantheon will end up getting that kill onto the volley bear. Meanwhile, we do see here the ultimate going out. Shen ult saving wow. the Ash there, uh, using the shield there uh, perfectly. Uh, and yeah, the Caitlyn ult will not be able to finish it. Oh, we do see the Ori ult getting in here mid lane. Jarvan flashing, does not really need to do that. Uh, you know, Ori had the kill there, I think, on her own, but just for the insurance, you know, making sure, like we said, uh, they are looking to just hold on to this lead and just kind of keep it going. So that is Ori picking up two kills with a bounty on her head. Um, but they do, they are able, uh, Lost Collective are able to get a kill on that Volley Bear. Uh, you know, we, we are seeing that Volley Bear get, get big, uh, you know, like we were saying earlier. Um, but, uh, you know, looking to shut that down with the, with the, with the aggression of the Pantheon stun and, you know, the cast follow up. Uh, yeah, they are able to get at least something going there. Um, but as these teams get, you know, further into the game, We'll just have to see how, how things play out. So Yeah, I feel like at this point, Lost Collective, they're gonna try to put all their eggs into Cassiopeia because she's just gonna scale so hard. Her she's, you know, so much CS up compared to the Volibear. I if I was their jungler, I'd try to be sitting top two because bot lane is just really far behind at this point, you know, almost twenty CS down, a kill down. Um, they had lost so many plates on their tower as well, so the gold difference between Kate and Ash is pretty significant. Yeah, so that's what, I mean, that would be my plan if I was them. Yeah, trying to get the cast ahead. I mean, I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think that right now that's your win con. Uh, you know, we, we were talking early game, right, when you pointed out, wait, that's a kindred mid. I don't know how that was going to go, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, without some jungle help, we did see the early jungle gank, but nothing really came out of it, right? I mean, you yeah. had the Orianna flash, but this is kind of what we expected to come out of this first game, or, or the first, you know, kind of the first early game there, uh, you know, with the Orianna Kindred matchup. So, yeah, you're right. I, I mean, feel like if, uh, I feel like if that gank would have worked out, Kindred would have gotten a mark early, and it would have put Pantheon and Kindred ahead, which means. Kendra would have been able to go into the enemy's jungle to get marks, so she would be even further ahead. But all it did was put both of them behind, and now Kendra's left with no marks and yes. you know, a death on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, it is not looking great there. Uh, definitely having to look elsewhere for the uh, for the win con. Um, it is definitely a little hard, right? We mentioned uh, the bot lane super, super far behind, or not super, super far behind, but definitely a decent amount, right? You have the uh, the F sword and the pickaxe coming out from Kate. Uh, and it is just, oh, Flashy's having to be burned. The uh, Ash Crystal Arrow not picking anything up. But we do see the Jarvan knock up onto the Pantheon. Ori there to follow up, get the kill as she is already super strong. The Flash ulti going. Ash having to burn the Flash to make it out alive there. The Morgana Dark Binding coming in to get the Shen. Uh, but it doesn't really look like anything more is going to be able to pick up there. Meanwhile, top lane, we have the all-in going in on the cast. This is what she had to worry about earlier. Was that all-in? But she can kite it out gonna come in? the poison and the backup. Man, it is just going to be crazy. I wish we could go back to that top lane there, see what's going on. But they will be able to pick up the kills bot lane. They know the flashes are burnt down. Uh, Caitlyn ult going down onto the Ash. They are able to pick up a kill onto the Shen there. Uh, but it doesn't look like top lane uh, really had anything else going on there. They did get super low. Cast might, yeah, cast back. But uh, yeah, we do have Kate picking up a kill onto the Pantheon there. Kindred all gets popped mid. Ori looking to pick up the kill. The Flash Kindred on the Kindred. Not being able to pick up anything more on the Q. The Ori shield coming in there uh, to kind of deter this. Kindred having to go in, but it's just going to be traded out by the Jarvan. Uh, wow, a lot being picked up here. For uh, Edouard Montpetit, they are saying to Lost Collective, "Hey, man, we are coming out to this first game strong. You know, we don't care if you're the first seed. We are just gonna, uh, you know, we're we're right behind you guys and are looking to, to clutch this out." So, yeah, we do see the bounty though going down on the Ori. Um, you know, Kindred picking that up. We were talking how Kindred was behind, so she she just got some some gold there, maybe some resources to maybe try and start getting back into this game. But I don't know how that keeps going on. Kindred is just kind of a weird pick there. Yeah, it's a 4k difference. They've lost one and a half towers bought. Uh, it's 
a big struggle. I mean, we saw that Cass was barely able to live the engage from a volley bear. So it's a. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, it's not looking too hot here. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think uh, you know, as we as the game goes on, right? Uh, castle, castle get uh, even bigger. Uh, and I have to give it out to Antic. Like, that kiting there was was super awesome. Getting the ulti off. Uh, you know, definitely almost had it there. Uh, so, you know, during the 1v1, it was super, super close, but yeah, they are looking, uh, super, super strong. Antic looking really, really good there. So, getting this drag here, it is going to be second drink being picked up for Edouard Montpetit. They are able, uh, to kind of just take these dragons, it looks like, for free. Uh, you know, Lost Collective just doesn't really have the, kind of the pressure and the engage to really go in. We do see here the sneaky bear in the bush waiting waiting and it's so scary to see that big boy there uh you know with the engage we just saw here but Kendrick coming in we have the haunt of the shen in the ori and billy berto picking up the kill on falson uh you know able to get in and get the self we were just talking about how this is going to change uh you know maybe get themselves back in and there it is right we have the uh gang coming in again and Kendra picking up another kill onto the Oriana. Meanwhile, you have the pressure topping the gates here. Oh my gosh, Garvin, yes. Yeah. Having to get out. It is a 3v2 up top lane. Volibear ulting to get out, but it's not going to be enough. Antic picking up a kill onto the Volibear. The follow up from the cast is there onto the Jarvan. Jarvan already flashed out earlier into the Kendra he is running into. The Prox having to go back in under tower, but that wave is corner. massive up there. Yeah, it is just. Maybe not going to be. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're on a black shield, but it is. Wow, not the enough. Wow. Just barely the exhaust going down onto the Kindred to slow down from any uh, autos or cues going out there. Dangerously low. Wow. Jarvan makes it out barely alive. They might have this uh, counter engagement here. The Dark Binding misses. They are looking to get the uh, Jarvan in there with the Ori Ball. Oh my gosh. The TV coming back from the Volley Bear. Uh, coming into the end game, and it is going to be Alt Central. Oriana gets three people into the alt range. Kindred, though, looking to get the counter engage there with the ultimate being thrown down to save everybody. Uh, Ash Arrow coming in, but it's a little too late. Caitlyn getting the, wow. oh my gosh, double kill there with the alt finisher. And they are just going to pick up that top lane. Wow, what a, what a series of events there, Poots. So you just had the fight there at the top into the, into the tower, almost tower dive. Into the crazy <laughs> counter engage from the from uh, Edward Mamdi, they are just crazy aggressive right now, looking for play after play. That was insane. My mind is crazy. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate on the when they when they fought the three v two versus the Volivere and the Jarvan. Cass bolted the wrong direction. I feel like if she didn't, she would have got the slow up. They would have killed Jarvan. They wouldn't have to try to corner him under the turret. It would have just been a kill, get the tower, and get out. But because they misplayed, it, it let their team reset, come back, and save Jarvan, and then pretty much turned the whole play on the, on its head. And now, you know, Lost Collective ended up coming out at the bottom of a play that they started, you know? So it's just really unfortunate left and right. Yeah, I mean, they are getting some trades, but it is just not going the way Lost Collective wanted to go. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure how they get themselves back into this game here. Caitlyn's huge. I mean, there's a bounty. You have the pickup, but oh, Oriol not being able to pick up uh, pick up the CC there on the Kindred, looking to dodge out. Uh, doesn't look like anything more is going to come out of that. But yeah, I mean, let's go back to WinCon, right? I don't know how Lost Clutch are going to come out of this if you know Edouard Marquis play this right and not miss player throw. Yeah, they I mean they have the such a good. Going? good team cop game with Kaylin, they can just siege with more Q yep. and they just wait yep. for the picks if the picks don't come then they just take the tower yeah they, and there's not much really lost collector can really do oh my gosh yeah i don't i don't know what they're thinking uh maybe we'll see some different picks come out uh <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's I, more I, than I, one I, game you know this really is the first game this, oh, yeah this is the first game maybe they're getting their you know their information right like how, how does how does this team play um but uh yeah game one is still early but i'm i'm gonna give this one I, it's looking right now like it's at edward's game I, edward mon petit have come out super strong from early into uh you know really just this whole game um 
yeah, I, I don't see a way for for Lost Collective really to get get back into this easily. It's going to be an uphill uphill battle for them. Um, yeah, we're looking we're looking for Red Side here to just kind of play play how they want. We are seeing a little kill bush. Man, we are seeing a lot of these these little sneaky bushes. I like these setups. I because, feel like uh, this is like not the way they are go. looking for anything. They are going to get the Starman following out. He's very, oh, he's not going to be able to get out. Uh, yeah, and that is going to be a kill for fans. Yeah, the ultimate. Oh, oh. I mean, and they are looking for more engagement. The Ash Arrow coming in. Morgana trying to get the ultimate going out. Does Hourglass there. Get a Simpsons. Oh, no. Now the Molly Bear is huge. <laughs> There. The okay. Oriana, 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 but the is there to back everything up. But the counter engage is there. Ash trying to go off there. Oriana picking up the kill though, uh, and the trade kill Pantheon being able to pick up four members. Oh, Caitlyn just that huge damage. Damage. Uh, the exhaust going down. The uh, engage of Kate being able to pick up the double on the cast. Altine. Oh yeah, it's just gonna be a takedown there. Kindred being able to pick up the kill onto the volley though. It is still a 2v2. Oh, Garvin coming in. Being able to pick up the last kill. Yeah, Kindred doesn't have ulti. Used at the beginning of the fight. It's just gonna be free cleanup. Another free drag for the side of the more I mean, that was I close. Just, that was uh, close. It's not yeah. like it's not like Lost Collective <laughs> are being smashed here in these fights. I mean, we are seeing just these. These fights are bloody. These fights yeah. are brutal. Everyone is coming out of it. No one's a winner. No, no one's a winner. I mean, I, I, I mean, obviously, Edward Mbappe comes out of that. <laughs> yeah. you know, they, they have I'm looking they a little bit like a winner. They have a <laughs> bit, you know, they got a little limp there. Uh, I just feel like, uh, okay, from my point of view, it's like if you look at their team comp and you're trying to do a ward bush, like I mean, uh, like a. Like a kill bush? Yeah, yeah, a kill bush yeah. against their team when you have no vision of them. Like, it just seems like such a terrible idea, in my opinion, because it's like, they, okay, I, I'll they're say just going to combo you back on you. Jungle, they targeted the jungle, you know, get the jungle out, maybe they can take the objective. I mean, that, you know, with vision, I, I agree, I agree. Having a dark map is kind of scary, but I like the call, right? Like, hey, let's, dragons coming up. Or dragons up, we, like we know that they're probably gonna come for this. It is gonna be third trait for them. Yeah, they that's see fair. Garvin and boom, like let's get him out of here. And uh, you know, I mean, it just didn't work out after afterward. The team fight didn't quite go the way they wanted. That volley bear is huge. And let's just give it up for uh, for, for Falson. The Oriana alt sees this game have been crazy. It has just been three to four man alts every time. And uh, looking looking like another engagement here. We have the Pantheon stun going on to the Darwin. TP coming out here as well. Looking to get into the fight. It is a 5v5. And nothing more is gonna happen. Yeah, just uh just a lot of a lot of pressure, a lot of stance and posturing there. Yeah, they got the Cassiopeia, they got the, the TP. TP. Yeah, they mm -hmm. got the TP, though. I mean, yeah, there's there's some summoners going down. Yeah, uh, Jarvis Flash. Coming, so, yeah, yeah not, not completely nothing happened, but, yeah, looking like both teams decided <laughs> to say, yeah, we're, we're going to back off a little bit here. Yeah, uh, I just feel like uh, they're just so ahead that they can just bait that, that Baron and then get some, you know, some summoner some spells. Yeah, it's like, some... hey, you have to come here, otherwise we're going to... They're yeah. forcing the contest into their favor. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's Lost so hard to, to, it, it, I mean, it's so hard for Lost Collective to go onto it because they have such a huge combo that it's like their team fight is, you know, just so much better. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nasty, definitely. Um, I don't know. No, they're they're looking to get out. Yeah, Jarvin barely making it out alive there. Uh, okay. But Lost Collective is able to push them out of the Baron. Don't think <gasps> Caitlyn not going. Is it gonna? Nope, not able to get it. Uh, you know, I respect the attempt though. She is strong, six and zero oh, with a bounty. Uh, looking like this might be a mispositioning. Don't know what's gonna happen there. Kindred all going down. But the CC is huge from the Morgana. Jen wow. all going down. Oh, what it is just. Kindred still oh, killed there. Corey still gets it. Oh, jeez. Kindred uh, is definitely trying to get at least something before going down there. Uh, yeah, but here comes the, uh, Volley Bear. Flash having to be burned. Ouch. Man, the engage is just crazy. Fights breaking out here. The Oriana ult has already been used here. Falson getting that kill, though, onto Contraband. We have the Flash Castle. 
and into the Jarvanol, trying to delay any follow-up here. Has to super, super move speed, the Dark Binding misses, and it's just going to be Poison Central. Are they going to be able to follow up? I don't think Lost Collector really has anything more to burn here. Um, yeah, same with the side of uh, Edouard and Malgati. They don't have really anything else. They've used all their engages, used all their finishers, and yeah, I think they're just going to walk away. I think it's just going to be... It was like a 3v3 there at the end, so... Mm -hmm. Well, so some Ugh. of the things to note, Kindred did get the shutdown on Caitlyn, which was a huge bounty. Um, so we'll see if anything... I mean, if, if Kindred keeps getting marks, keeps getting big kills like that, I mean, she eventually scales really well, but... It's, yeah, it's 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 uh gotta get there, right? Gotta get yeah. there. I mean, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, gotta get her. It's, it's a get huge there. mountain to climb. Stall, 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 stall. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, Ori's only getting bigger. Volley's getting tankier. You know, Caitlyn is still scaling, and I mean, she's already pretty far ahead. She's just gonna, you know. Yeah, keep keep on keep attacking. Along. Keep yeah. on trucking along. <laughs> yeah, doing doing business as usual here. Um, yeah, I mean. It, it is going a lot longer than I thought it would. I, it, right? We are seeing, even though it's, it was, uh, you know, kind of some disparity here. Watch Collective is, is fighting this out. They are not, you know, they're not slacking in these team fights. Um, you know, despite despite some crazy. I think the Ash soul point. really just kind of has to to get in and online. And then I think we might see some of these. these Ocean Soul would them. be so big for the There's team. the Ash oh. on to the Ori. Ori's not going to be able to ult out. this time. Then gets the kill there. Nice taunt here. Meanwhile, uh, uh, as Warm Monkey looking to kind of counterplay this, Watch Collective coming in there clutch with some focusing there on some oh, groups. Just so tanky. Poly Bear is going to be able to be taken down there. Yeah, there's just going to be a frontline barrage for this Ash to be able to pick up. Billy Berto picking up the kill. Mm -hmm. On to wow. middle manager and lost collective, like we were saying earlier, is coming, is starting to come back, right? I mean, you yeah. do you see here the the uh soul there, uh, soul point engage having to go through. They do stop soul from being uh from being taken. Uh, they might even look for the baron play here. I don't, I, I think I saw a ping go down earlier. So, yeah, but, what um, once was a, a 4k wow. difference is now only, you know, one, what, one back. I mean, wow, that one, I mean, they have been slowly getting, you know, like, we've been slowly seeing the pickups, right? The, both of the bounties now have been taken down. Ori bounty gone, Kate bounty's gone, and they're going over to these these players who definitely, you know, at, at one point were behind, but with those bounties can get themselves back in this game. Like I said, the Ash was going off right there. Uh, she just had to kind of come online and we'll be able to, you know, as long as the team, like they did frontline there, uh, it's just, just, she's constant damage and it is melting them. Um, yeah, Kindred back into this. We now have Ash and Kindred, both with bounties of their own, coming back into this out of that fight. It has just been kind of crazy for them. Watch Collective have, you know, like early mid into this, into this late game phase, early mid was not looking pretty and... Now though, uh, you know they have. It looks like it looks like they have a chance. Is there is there a ray of hope there? Here periods? we go. Pause. Yeah, it looks like a pause here. Maybe stop the momentum. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, let's talk about that last team fight. I mean, it 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 was crazy that they got the pick right. The Ori is instantly taken out. The Shen mm -hmm. ultimate onto the damage into the or Morgana Q was there and just so much just damage and and cc coming out she can't do anything the ultimate ability uh for her yeah her ultimate ball is just not there anymore for the crazy engage and edward Matri just can't can't really do anything after that after ori goes down that's where you see them start to back off and lost glad to come through that was that was crazy i mean was, was there any other way that that could have gone out i mean what i i really want to point out on top of all of that is yes they got the pick on Ori which is super huge cuz she she's putting out so much dps during these fights but on top of that these kindred ults are so nice because you have to think about the big combo and wombo that the enemy team has whereas kindred ult i feel like blocks a lot of that burst from Jarvan a lot of like that burst from Ori and things like that where that last kindred fight she saved uh, Cassiopeia from dying and was able to turn the fight get flash from Morgana and you know pretty much clean up get the dragon and then they rotated a baron so i feel like with kindred getting ahead is is pretty big 
No. Yeah, I mean, what a crazy mid pick. Uh, we do see here the Shen all coming here onto the cast. Pantheon Looking to get the taunt well. onto the volley bear. This is a pick. Antic picking up the kill there. Uh, onto the volley, and it is just gonna be not what you're looking for, uh, for the side of Edward Monty. You're not looking to get picked like this here, uh, especially also, when they have uh, Baron. I want to point out too is this Jarvan build. He's doing a uh, support Jarvan. He has a locket and he has a Knight's Vow, or that's actually on Oriana. I don't oh, know if weird. you noticed that. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very, I didn't very think world that, uh... like the support jungle Lee Sin I've seen a couple times. Okay. Okay. So I guess it's pulling some. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Pulling some. You know. Hey, we're gonna try this out. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. we wanna be. We wanna be like worlds. Um, but I like that though. You know, that's kind of cool to see some different. I mean, it's not bad, out, especially when your your laners are so far ahead. Like Ori needs some survivability in these fights. Caitlyn, you know also so yeah, it's not sure. awful but um definitely interesting I haven't seen that before either um yeah we'll have to see i mean oh man right i just crazy how the 180 has happened right i mean we we were definitely seeing uh some domination coming out earlier but uh we with a few team fights and a few you know crucial bounties going down uh gold going on the right players too you know, we're, we're definitely seeing the comeback wow, here. Also, wow, being able to just burst out <laughs> that Pantheon. That damage is crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, Baron, you know, just doing his thing. They're going to slowly push that in. Yep, they already got the tower, so they're going to reset here, I think. Uh, man, if you're the side of Edouard Monty, I mean, what, what's your win con here? You, you're ahead, right? You, or you were ahead. You, you have the goal. They're still yeah. strong. Like, what? It, what? Who's? How are, how are they coming back in this? What? Are, I, I mean, I, I think they, they just need to get like? good team fights off again. Uh, they need to either do that or they need to get picks. They need to pick that Kindred or pick that Cassiopeia before a fight because that Kindred ult just, I feel like, just like you said, counters a lot of their engage, a lot of their bursts yeah. in team fights. So. It, it definitely changes it. So oh, let's man. see if we can make that okay. pick right now. Right here, we have the Darwin ult going down. The Ori ult coming in. Man, There's every that time. Kindred ult coming out for the counter here. But you do see Not the volley enough. coming in after the end there. Yeah, the team fights we were talking about. This is one that you do want to see. You have the Caitlyn here uh, being able to put down the damage. Cash ult coming out, but not being able to pick anything up there. And yeah, Caitlyn's just going to get the damage trapped <laughs> under her. Oh my gosh, not what she wanted. Oh my, but Kindred is having the damage. Oh gosh, burns it out. And uh, is dra just yeah, drag so big, coming up? Though. It is just going to be Ori. Uh, this game, Ori has been popping off. Falson has gotten three to four man ults every time. It is just it is just crazy. I think, I think too, right? If you're lost clutch, if you're looking to get into that Kindred ult, right? So I think they're, yeah. they're looking to kind of stack, which is perfect for Ori. So, uh, yeah, I mean, seeing these these plays come out, it, it's just crazy. And this is sold for them. But yeah, Ocean Soul for Ori, Morgana, Kaelin, Bali. It's just really okay really all right we're disgusting. looking for team fights we're looking for the team fights right like you yep. said that's their win con they're looking to yep. get off these awesome team fights with the kind of the wombo combos they don't even have to have all the wombos there but we are seeing like the jarvan ori alt and then like the volleyball alt coming in to kind of clean things up mm -hmm. uh it's working out for them so yeah lost clutch has to just kind of be careful about that they are kind of doing their thing to get back into it it looks like they really shifted gears <laughs> Uh, you know, Brisson, you know, we kind of want to, you know, we kind of want to win. And, I just uh, feel like, okay, so now in the game, Pantheon is pretty much, he's not going to be putting out any damage. He's going to be pretty much a stun bot. Yep. Stun bot yep. And and he's not very tanky. He has GA now, but that doesn't really provide any tankiness. It's just going to bring him back to, you know, if he dies, yeah, but he dies he once, he'll probably in, die right? again. Like, he'll go in. I mean, it, it, he'll use the GA to maybe get the clutch pick, but... We'll see how that happens. I, I don't really... The clutch pick is Ori. They have to get Ori to stop being dominant here mm -hmm. uh, in these team fights. So, yeah, we might be seeing the GA, you know, hey, I, I can kind of go in and hopefully the team follows up and we all kind of crush it, you know, with the one crucial stun on whoever, um, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, 
It's just so hard to make a pick on Ori when they're yeah. they're constantly grouped together because I mean they want the team fight, whereas Lost Collective wants the pick. So it's a little oh. tough when you know they run around in packs. <laughs> oh my gosh! Here we go. The Shed Ultimate coming down here early on. The cat has oh, being able no. to get a stun here. Carbon all the Ori down. down. There's the Ori down. Going a no manager being able to pick up a kill onto the cast. So GA being popped. You have a 3v3. Oh, 3v4 now. The GA coming back to life here. Carbon getting uh, trying to get something there. Yeah, but the uh, uh, flash then on. You know to pick up, and this is not the team fight that you wanted to come through. You had uh, so much going down, but they're not going to be able to pick it up. Caitlyn, though, still having the damage, being able to pop the Kindred ulti. Oh, Volley Bear just kind of staying in the ult, not taking the damage, getting the reshot. Oh my gosh, Caitlyn is hitting that late game stage where she can just two-shot people. If she gets the shots here, it is going to be a kill. Yeah, it no. is going to be pick up. Wow, what a turnaround that was going either way. I mean, you saw the Ori go uh, yeah. getting out of the fight early, right? And that kind of, you saw how that shifted the power there. It uh, looked like Lost Flex is going to be able to kind of switch it up and take it with the damage. But, uh, wow. I, I, feel mean, like, I feel like Lost Collective had that. And and they could have walked away. They could have left the volley. They could have left the cave. They could have went and took Baron. Volley was too low. You know, there wouldn't have been much for them to, to go and re-engage. But they got a little greedy. They thought they would, they would be able to do it. But there's just... No way you're gonna get to a Caitlyn when Pantheon ha doesn't have GA, you know, can't get past the Volibear, Bear, and you have, you know, two ADCs. It's just not gonna happen. And and they pushed too far, and they ended up getting it turned on them with the fight that they originally had won. So yeah. I mean, it's un unfortunate. And once again, you know, they're behind. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, it is. It's close. I agree. I thought Lost Collective had that at the start there. Uh, I mean, they did. They, they, they really did. did. Yeah, they, they did. They did. Um, and then they. I think that was the mistake is that they just pushed they it a little bit too much. Going. Yeah. yeah. Little, they could have took the the small victory and walked away from it. Instead, they handed over the victory to Caitlyn, and she took every kill. Yeah, Caitlyn had some nasty damage here. Uh, Wolf Beast, you know, with the crits. Uh, we'll be seeing like a two to three shot people on these switching champions. I mean, uh, you know, it's gonna be definitely hard to get in on her too with that front line, uh, especially now with Baron. We see the Ori ult trying to go down, Ooh, it's a Shen ult. The pick, and there goes uh, Caitlyn ult trying to get the kill, but it's gonna be blocked out. But there it is. Oh my gosh, Kindred ult having to pop down because the Caitlyn is just coming after her, but not gonna be able to pick up the kill onto the Kindred. Nothing really long range to finish up those uh, those low people. Uh, yeah, low champions there. Uh, they're just going to use Baron to kind of take this out. And that last team fight we saw was not what they wanted, right? With that Baron now being taken, they are able to break open the base. Uh, yeah, and there's not much Lost Folks can do about it. They're going to be able to give up that first inhib. Um, yeah, I, yeah I, there's nothing they can really do there. I, I, yeah, that last team fight really put them behind. Uh, yeah, shifting down bot lane looks like. Doesn't really look like they're gonna look for anything else. Gonna get their yeah, they're power. just gonna siege. They have yeah, they have know, Kaylin, Kaylin, everything. And Everyone Baron. healthy. Everyone's so healthy. They have yeah, soul that's too. Soul. The, the soul, soul. Yeah, soul. I was just about to say yeah. The soul is gonna be crazy here. I mean, I I don't know. Oh my god, this, this is not what you, Oh my, wow. you don't get the block off, and Kaylin will end up getting the ultimate off onto the cast. That's not what you wanted to see. You are seeing the pick here. The in hit tower bot thing going down slow, uh, shortly followed by the in hit with Baron Minions and the Steve Comp coming in. It looks like uh, Edouard Montpetit might be able to close this out with the Baron buff here. I'm not quite sure. They are kind of just kind of posing around. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that damage. <laughs> what was that? One shot of the Caitlyn Kindred having the pop ultimate there. The knockout going down. Kindred getting out. Sliver of hell, but it's not going to be enough. The Caitlyn just not being focused there. Ori getting the ultimate down there, and they are just going to be able to get the kills that they need and close out this fight. That is game number one going over to Ed Warren Mondesi. They are looking to take out this first seed team here uh, in this best of three. That is a great start for them. Uh, you know, definitely getting super strong there. Uh, and being able to uh, hold on to that uh, a little bit looked kind of kind of scary there for a second. Mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, they were able to clench that out, and that is game number one uh, going over to Edward Monty. Lost Collective Boomers uh, looking to kind of bring things back in game number two. Uh, and you know kind of kind of maybe clean things up there in draft um you know i don't know we did see the kindred popping off there with the ultimates there uh you know really bringing the team back into it so uh yeah i don't know lost collective looking to kind of clean things up just a little bit maybe maybe switch it up um you know we have seen uh some crazy picks coming out from them before uh and them clinching it so yeah we'll, we'll have to see how that goes through uh in game number two but poods what a crazy first game we saw the aggression like we were saying before the game uh all throughout it right like everywhere there were kind of always these fights always these uh, little skirmishes going on uh so yeah these uh these are these are both teams looking to bring it here uh for the last game of the regular season so yeah as we uh get into game number two we'll take a short break don't go anywhere uh all you viewers out there uh and we'll we'll uh we'll be back for game number two
Testing. Mic check. Mic check. Yeah. All right. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We are having, a, or we were having a little technical difficulties there, but uh, looks like we're we're back and underway. I hope you guys can hear us uh, loud and clear. But yeah, as you we were saying, uh, yeah, looking to maybe see some more uh, traditional picks here. Uh, Pooj, yeah, you can definitely uh, maybe looking to change things uh, from last game. Um, but yeah, you know, some crazy engage again uh, coming out from a uh, little bit of both sides there. Uh, Zier looking this time, um, Edouard Petit looking to have a little bit more tricky time setting up their engage this time. I think uh, right now Lost Collective have that easy engage uh, with Orn, Ash, Jarvin, and Karma. Yeah, that that's definitely uh a lot of a lot of cues to to signal to go in um, i feel like a um, fight being picked up at that last pick the the brom Jin bot lane is very interesting because i feel like brom is so strong his passive is probably one of the most strongest passives in the game you know the just the 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 three hit stun yeah. but i feel like with Jin, it's so hard because you know he has four shots so True. With, with getting the brom passive off for you know the really strong Braum fighting. I, I just feel like it's going to be a little difficult. But overall, in their team comp with Graves this year and Malphite, I I really like their comp again a lot. Um, yeah, where Malphite's huge. Oof. Yeah, Malphite is definitely one of those <laughs> full <laughs> full tank build one shot the ADC kind of champions. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I just looking from the comps alone, we have the Ash and Karma bot lane versus the Jin Brom. Uh, most likely an Echo mid, Jarvan jungle, and we have an Azir mid and Graves jungle. It it's definitely interesting. We have the two tanks top, uh, but I'm still leaning towards uh, the Eduardo. Like their comp is just so much better. I I, I do I, think. I do like their comp. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of go through right, like with the uh, yeah. You're, I mean, you're looking for the Azir plays with the wall. Uh, I mean, those stylish go ins and then get you know pushes the whole team in back in or into damage. Uh, but yeah, you have the Malphite alt there too to follow up. Um, I'm actually I think I'm I'm kind of leaning on the side of Lost Collective here. Um, you know, with the Jarvin and the uh Ash or uh Orn, it's just it's a lot. It's a lot coming out and it's like easy. I think it's easy to engage again. Um mm -hmm. kind of easy to pull off. I mean, you do have the easy, you know, Malf Malphite ultimate, uh, you know, to start things out there and uh, you know, kind of with the uh, you know, uh, Graves isn't really gonna have like two he's just gonna be there for damage, really, I think. You know, with the ultimate and everything, not really crazy CC, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, if you're asking me, I'm looking at more more towards Lost Collective here. So we'll have to see how these two teams fight it out. Well, uh, I we'll feel have to like, see which one comes through. I feel like for Lost Collective, if they they want their team to pop off, that Echo needs to be ahead because Ash is always going to put out decent DPS unless they win early in bot lane. Which between Ash and Karma versus a Brom. They're 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 not gonna. I don't think they're gonna win lane with that. So I think what Lost Collective needs to do is they need to get their Echo ahead because he's gonna be their main damage. You know, he's gonna be the one that's gonna one shot the Azir or Jin or Graves in those team fights. But if Echo doesn't get ahead versus the Azir, I don't know how they're gonna pull off this team comp because I don't think Ash is gonna burn through Malphite, Brom to to an Azir and Jin. You know what I mean? Especially with Graves in her face. So I yeah, don't know. True. I mean, well, I like the I do like the Jin Brom setup. I mean, you have the you have like if they do get this uh the the passive proc on right, you're gonna get Jin to be able to W uh has to hit the W to just be able to lock people down uh mm -hmm. and then to be able to to kind of get the proc off to get the CC out. So it is a little slow building. Uh, I definitely agree that it's a little weird with the synergy there, right? He's not going to be able to kind of stack it up as fast as if it were like a Lucian or someone. Yeah, but, but you also like you fast forward. Yeah, if you fast forward to 20 minutes, what these team fights are going to look like, right? It's going to be Malphite Braum in front with the Zier right behind them. Graves is going to be dashing around doing his thing while Jin's in the back putting out DPS ulting. It's just, I just feel like their team comp versus the Ash Jarvan Karma Echo is just a little bit better because the only person that they have to engage for them is going to be Jarvan or Echo. 
But the, they, I don't think Jarvan and Echo can really get past Braum and Malphite. Yeah, I, was, I just the Braum, especially Malphite. with the Zier with his own peel. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it'll be a little difficult. But I mean, like I said, if they get ahead early, their team comp definitely wins. But if they don't get ahead early, I just still leaning to Eduardo's team. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes through. We saw Lost Collective uh, coming from behind there in that last game. Maybe had a little sliver of hope. Uh, they yeah. definitely were, were bringing things back there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. With a little bit uh, kind of more traditional uh, team comp this time, uh, you know, maybe maybe we'll see things change up a little bit here. Um, yeah, we definitely saw the mid lane matchup uh, might get swapped here, right? You had the Kindred versus the Ori last time, but now you have Echo versus Zier. You might have the same same issue, right? Like uh, Zier definitely has the kind of poke out in the range um but echo has that all in and, and can kind of just go in so yeah we'll have to see how that how that matchup goes through um i definitely think that yeah i mean you're gonna have these tanks who are gonna be the front line trying to kind of just yeah these, these kind of these team cons look more like the traditional gameplay right like mm -hmm. you really just gonna have like your front line for your damage your dps looking for those all ins you know zier's looking to go jump in maybe get some displacement there with the ultimate same with echo echo is looking to get into the back line um you know definitely some some really kind of meta or team traditional uh fighting going through so yeah i mean yeah fast forward into the team fights right yeah you're looking you're looking kind of just from the front to back and seeing who uh yeah who's going to take out the carries but um yeah bot lane i i don't know yeah it kind of just i think that might just be stale for a little bit and it's going to really depend on how um how the gameplay goes out like who who's going to get caught who's going to get picked um you know then jungle right like what lane is jungle going to help out we did mm -hmm. see the early uh top side uh support last game which definitely translate i mean that volley was popping off too um so we'll, we'll have to see here which which is going to be strong side uh you know who can get ahead um definitely i think if ash and karma get ahead yeah i think they can they can definitely just go all in but that brom shield is huge i wasn't even thinking about that until mm -hmm. We're, we're thinking about how the team fights are going. Braum Shield can stop a lot, so yeah. I I think if I was the Jarvan on Lost Collective, I'd definitely be wanting to get Echo ahead early, um, just because I feel like he can get poked out pretty easily by his ear. He, you know, he won't be able to kill as easily as other some, some other mid laners, um, especially if this ear knows what he's doing, which I'm sure he does. Um, and and bot lane is just a little hard to get a gank off versus a brahmin Jin, you know they're they're pretty safe and you know like i said brahm blocks a lot especially a lot of the poke from ash and karma yeah well well definitely i mean the only way that i see them really kind of getting that gank off is that, that ash arrow hits that Jin, uh and then jarvin's able to follow up um you know with uh with the ultimate there too mm -hmm. you're definitely gonna have to burn everything uh for sure so yeah maybe not looking like the easiest there uh definitely have to wait until six um to really kind of guarantee and 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 make sure that something goes through at least sums right like at least pop in summoners um just so it's not it's not all for not so yeah, yeah as we get into loading screen here uh you know in chat we want to see who you guys uh want to win uh this game you know as we get into game number two this could be uh edward Montpetit's time to shine uh you know to get this second w under their way uh you know pooterbutt thinking that uh they're gonna be able to pull off their team comp a little bit easier than lost collective so we'll have to see if that holds true uh you know as we as we get into game here um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see Lost Collective, not, uh, no stranger from bringing things back, um, as we almost saw there in game number one. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how these teams play. Again, these are, uh, the last, uh, games in, uh, the regular season about to move into playoffs. So we're looking to see here both, uh, both teams really just kind of bringing their A game. So as we load into the Brits, We'll see if we're looking. I don't really think an invade's gonna happen. They don't really have any of those crazy, uh, you know, crazy potentials there. Uh, I think you're there. wrong. Brom invade. Uh, I mean, Brom Brom is, there. Brom is but, so uh, strong, level one. They I, they get their passive on somebody. It, it's pretty much over. I just don't think that Lost Collective is gonna look for it because they they know that Brom's there, so they're not gonna let the invade chance happen. 
Yeah, that's true. They're just gonna stack and and try to play it safe. Normal five star, a lot of pings going down on the <laughs> side. Have some nice music from the Jin skin. The dark star is uh, it's pretty awesome. Flash in the level four yeah. mastery. I love it. Pro, super super pro. You know, at least he, <laughs> yeah, at least he's able to we see it. But uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty standard, pretty standard start. Lost selective, yeah, not wanting that, uh, not wanting that potential of the Brom. Uh, Brom pick for sure. Uh, yeah, and uh, and Warman Petit just kind of playing this out here, uh, five stacking until, yeah, until until jungle can spawn. Malphite making his way up top. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Worth walking through the bush. We are seeing the invade go through. Okay, I like seeing the aggressive plays here. They have the blast code to all pop in. They did, uh, I think they were spotted out there. Uh, so they know that uh, Edouard Mopti is taking this blue buff here. Um, yeah, and it's going to be that No, I don't, I don't think they? they were spotted. No. Did they? Okay, maybe there's not. No, there's no red vision there whatsoever. I thought, I thought bot lane saw them in the river going through. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, okay, we get into game. Jarvin, yeah, they definitely did not see. Jarvin would yeah, not Jarvin have walked Yeah. He would have passed differently. So they did not get spotted out. That is an early invade coming through uh, for the side of Edouard Montpetit. They are looking for that early, early aggression. I mean, talk about early already uh, before three minutes there uh, looking to go through. But we do have the Jarvin gang coming through. Flash having to be burnt on the Jin. Ignite going down uh, onto the Braum. Getting a little bit low there, but that is just going to be some sums burnt, um, you know, after the invader. He's not going to have his camp there, so he's just going to go for the gank, um, you know, looking, looking to make something something out of it, you know. But uh, yeah, looking like top lane just kind of beating, beating each other there. Getting a little bit yeah. <laughs> typical but, top lane. Yeah, typical top. Yeah, you even have mouth and orange, the two big guys. So, okay, we're going to duke it out. Okay, the mid lane. So what's yeah, interesting here. here is so Graves took Jarvin's blue buff, then went and took his own red buff, no, his own blue buff, and then went back to That's Jarvin's top, uh, yeah, top jungle to take that, in. and so he still has his red buff up. Dominant, but we do see the mid lane. Oh my gosh, are they gonna get first blood? Yeah, the flash. Oh, oh canceled wow. the or wasn't able to get the auto animation off. Flash or flash that could have been first blood in the mid lane. Uh, but just barely making it out. Uh, wow, that that could have been that could have been devastating. But uh, looks like here, uh -oh. Echo's gonna be able to get out. You have the closed in. It is a three v three. Jarvin coming in from behind to make this an equal footy fight. The exhaust going down. Both members getting low. Flash having to be burned. Brom getting the passive down, trying to get it on anybody. But the grades oh, wow. getting dangerously low. That's the stun it. going down. That's that was telling you that Brom passive is blood. so strong. Ooh. Ray's picking that up. Oh, W barely missing, but nope. As uh, Z is not gonna be able to go through. That is a TP though, right? Is that TP? Yeah, totally. Yeah, TP, TP coming down. Not Zier. really getting anything for Zier, but uh, yeah, that is first blood being picked up there. Edouard Mon Petit looking to break this out. You know, they're looking to close this out in this series. Get game number two, and they are showing it right now. I mean, yeah, definitely that Brom passive who, that you're mentioning is huge. Uh, as we all know, just being able to get it onto somebody is going to lock them down after that uh, third auto. And yeah, like we saw there, it just secures it at the most clutch time, too, because that graze was super, super low. Uh, you know, and I think might not have gotten been this, able to get uh, it off. This Jarvan is a little behind. He's only had one buff and I think one or two camps this entire time. I mean, he's taking Graves' drop now, but... Yeah, Ray after still that has his own red buff up that has not been taken at all. Oh my god, we do see here <laughs> 3v1 off fighting. the Echo. Ooh. Wow, oh wow, triple nice stun that. and is able to get out. Wow, okay. Uh, Echo being able to play that super, super well. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, Jarvin looking to pick anything up. He is getting wolves right now, it looks like. Yeah, he took uh, Graves' top side jungle. Getting a little bit there, getting the information right. Graves was seen mid, and so knows it's safe to pick these up. Uh, does Graves see him out. here? No, he does not. So, yeah. Oh, uh, too late. So, not able to pick anything up. You have the stun 
going down there, or sorry, the root of the gin. But uh, yeah, not much more. So we picked up bot lane. Wondering when we're gonna see the next aggression or where we're gonna see it. Uh, actually, I guess it really good. It kind of depends on where the jungler is gonna be here. Have been super uh, crucial of these fights um, that or the picks that we've already seen or engaged. So yeah, top lane doing top lane things. I don't know if we're gonna see anything top. Uh, they just might. Hey, I think they're just gonna to beat on each other for, for, yeah, for, for a while. <laughs> for a while. 15, 20 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. I mean, mid lane, right? We saw the Echo get out earlier. Beautiful out. Uh, beautiful escape from him. Uh, being able to come out. So, uh, yeah, getting some more pressure. The Azir, though, I think was winning that lane. Kind of had the pressure out early on, right? Had him down. Chunked him. Still had all his health. Uh, we're looking to see how that lane. Uh, we do see the knockup, yet yeah, you can get really good people out by getting kind of low. Engagements more. We do see the setup Ash. Oh, does not see it hit the ward. You have to set up into the root. And then it's your free kill. Yeah, Jim picking up the kill onto the Ash there. Meanwhile, Flash having to be burned top of it for the Malphite. Otherwise, he would have died too. But yeah, I mean, when you're when you're caught in all of that, you have a Braum in your face right there, what are you going to do? Yep. And uh, Ash going down. Ooh, also looking at the builds, Ash going the tier build this time. So really not having a crazy amount of damage. Uh, you know, having the call and the refillable pot. And yeah, looking to get uh, Jin, or Jin getting the skill, looking to get the damage. Or he stole uh, the blue buff perfect. from Jarvan. Jarvan's still has only had one buff so far. Let's see if he gets his red buff. Okay, so this has definitely been double cap here. Uh, so far, looking like Raze really controlling things. Yeah, at, uh, being able to pick up the kill onto the Bramba Jin coming back, also getting the trade kill. Uh, that is really 2 0 for Jin. He mm -hmm. loves to be in this uh, spot. I think he's going to come back definitely with a BF sword, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, so he'll be looking to get strong. Ash really kind of picking, uh, you know, picking up a kill there, looking to maybe get things going. Uh, but like you said earlier, before the game was starting, was, yeah, Ash is Ash Karma kind of slow, right? Not really looking to see anything out of them until maybe a little bit, unless they had gotten snowballed, which has not happened. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, Edouard Montpetit really looking strong here, especially the Graves, right? Taking yeah. over the jungle, being able to. Uh, really know where the Jarvan kind of has to, or is going to be pathing, or like use him when he's ganking, and then taking advantage of that, going into the uh, going into the jungle, taking camps and everything like that. Uh -oh, oh my Jarvan. gosh, Jarvan getting hot spot out, and Azir wow. just jumping right in there, uh, getting the finishing up the kill. He was he was definitely low, and that is not what you want to see if you're a lost collective. Uh, Jarvan getting caught out there uh, at the rift, and it going down over to Edouard Bon Petit. Yeah, that is not, not super great. Jarvan going in, yeah, getting the first half off. They're not really able to get in there just yet, but will end up getting the fourth rock off and a four shot coming down wow. is guaranteed to take out that Karma. Great uh, stopwatch from the Braum. Flash is having to be burned onto the Ash, but he has the passive down, able to get the four shot into the ultimate, and Ash will be taken down. That is a double kill. For the Jin down bot, that is huge for him coming in. Meanwhile, you had the top lane engaged, the Orn counter knockup going out, Malphite being able to get out, nothing really coming out of the top lane, but Echo being able to pick up the kill onto the Azir. So much engagement going out all over the map, both sides everywhere, just mid, top, and bot going down. Jin being able to get some kills there, and yeah, it's just, just some crazy plays. Wow. Uh, Jin getting even stronger. Uh, yeah, Poots, you were saying this bot lane was going to come out to smash the team comp was what you were looking for, and that is huge coming out uh, for Edouard Montpetit. Yeah, they are looking to take game number two in a decisive uh, fashion here. Yeah, so they weren't able to get anything top. Um, Azir did go down mid due to Echo ult and... Wow, Echo stole that. That's pretty nice. Um, but Echo was able to kill the Azir under his tier 2 tower with Flash and R, but, uh, this Jin is looking like a big boy. He, oh my he gosh, already has Bob. one full complete item. Well, it's really coming in at the right time to be able to get the passive, and wow, yeah, just 
so much. Oh, uh -oh. let's not get the root. We'll flash <laughs> it. Okay, um, you know, just for securing, but maybe a little miscommunication there, and who is going to be able to get that? Uh, but they will end up uh, securing that kill onto the Ash Bomb. Uh, well, we'll it was only a Jin flash. Uh, Brom jumped to him. It was just funny. Yeah, it did look so, <laughs> looked pretty funny. <laughs> they got uh, dashed. Okay. Um. Yeah. Jin missing the roof, but they are still being able to get it. Next time. Uh. Yeah. That's super free if he if he gets that root on to them. Uh. But yeah, yeah, super free bot lane. I mean, they're super far ahead. I don't really. Graves think is here. Stop them to, as as soon as uh, Driven shows up, Graves is there to answer. Oh yep. Already taken. Oh, some in the rift, and he took the. Did he take her off? Yeah, like he did. Yeah. So yeah, really just. The jungle is so, so in control of this game. It's great. being everywhere that Jarvan is in or is to be able to counter. Uh, and then just take chance of his own. You know, throwing Jarvan back under uh, for experience there. Um, while also, you know, putting himself ahead. So, so far, really great gameplay coming out from Graves. Uh, looking to see that come through. Um, and definitely bot lane is looking to, to pop off this game for the side of Edward Mob team. Oh man, some engage going through in the mid lane. Echo getting the triple proc off. Azir getting some more poke damage back there, but just, uh, Echo still has the ultimate. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, you do see here. So it looks engage. like Braum is fighting Jarvan. Ooh, okay, ultimate going down to knock the knock on the place where it didn't look like the knock was through. Echo getting the stun. Mythically, oh, not enough. On the, uh, Braum. Was not that was so there. close. Oh my gosh, turret damage mouth like getting super low. Holy cow. But uh yeah, oh my gosh, Echo still has ulti, but so far it is a one uh for nothing uh for the side of Lost Bucks. They are able to pick up the kill onto the Rob, but it was close. It was close. And meanwhile, Malphite having to really kinda play safe up there in respect. Yeah, nothing nothing more I don't think is gonna happen. Oh, so, nope, you see the Graves. Graves top lane coming in for the gank. Yeah, it is going to try and happen here. Malphite ult getting the knock up there perfect onto him. And it is just going to be a free, free kill there for uh, Cheek uh, picking up uh, the kill on that Orn. Okay, so yeah, definitely some stellar gameplay coming out from the Graves just everywhere. So I feel like every lane is pretty far behind for Lost Collective except the Echo. And like I said, once again, the way back in, in the beginning is that Echo is the win con for them because he's the one that's going to carry the fights. He's the one that's going to assassinate the Jin uh, and 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 or the the Azir or Graves and and change a fight. So I mean I don't I wouldn't say they're completely out. They are all the other lanes are pretty far behind um, and Graves is really far ahead. But I I do think that they have a chance though. Yeah, they're they definitely not right. on it. Uh, they can definitely play from behind. They will be able to pick up. Or Ash will be able to pick up the kill onto the dragon. Uh, Azir will be able to finish up the kill onto the Jarvan. The Brawl passes? Or the oh. Fall? oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Farmers to be able to beat out. Maybe, yeah, with the Ash. You see there, it's not going to be able to run. But yeah, that Brom passive is scary. If you see it on you, you are looking to get out. Especially with that follow up and him being there uh, with a four shot ready. It is just, ooh, man, super, super scary. Uh, but yeah, uh, Echo is definitely the win con. Uh, you know, definitely is the one that is ahead right now and has the damage to kind of pop things out there. Um, so yeah, looking to looking to keep him ahead and looking to get him ahead even further. And Graves really taking this one v one here to no fear because he's really really far ahead. Oh my God! The oh no! Wow! The heal. Yeah, no being able to finish off the kill there. Garvin going in flash to get out of here, not hitting anybody. Uh, but it is just gonna protect oh, or be a protective wall there so they can't go through. Lost collective looking to reposition and go back in here. They have the slows from the ash arrow, and then there's just gonna be oh, no, constant damage there. Ooh, the shutdown going down over Ash, getting the shutdown onto the Jin, and it is just gonna be a double kill as well. Picking it up Lost Collective is able to turn this and make that a four for nothing uh, in their favor. They just brought that back in one team fight. Ash is four and four now. Uh, you can never count Lost Collective out. They know how to play 
Uh, it may look like they're playing from behind, and they are, but they just know how to play it and can bring it back in these crazy fights like this. Um, but yeah, you're looking right now, uh, things about back even a little bit here mm -hmm. uh, in terms of gold and just like itemization and everything, just things coming through here. But yeah, Lost Collective is able to kind of turn things around. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens here in the clean foot. Are they going to be able to get this pick? Just some more damage. Bronk getting... Oh, yeah, nothing really they can do. Echo picking up another kill of his own. Graves looking to get out, but he's going to get knocked up by the Jarvan. And Jarvan picking up that kill onto the Graves. Man, this is falling apart right now for uh, Edward uh, Monpetit. They are just being able to get picked off here. Um, you know, Boss Lex is really looking to get what they want in, their, in that last couple engagements. Gosh, so much more poke damage coming down. Yep. More it's just so hard for more. a deer to, to kill oh, to kill Echo, Echo even if he does yeah, get good poke on him. Still has the ultimate to worry about and he can't really go in there to finish out that last bit of help. Oh my god, the deer getting a great ultimate off here. Ron getting the passive down. Are they going to be able to? Yep, four shot coming through. It is just going to be able to clean this off. They are going to be able to get the Braun passive. Jin getting a double kill there. That is great for him. He is the super strong. Even adding more to that. Looking to get him further ahead. Yeah, I mean, it really is going to be the... Uh, I think it's going to be up to uh, Edouard Montesquieu to really come together for the CC. To really come together and um, make plays for this Jin. Jin and Azir uh, are really going to be crucial for this. Um, you know, Malphite coming in with the ultimates later on, but yeah, really looking to pave, pave the way for their Jin. Meanwhile, you see Echo going in, trying to get some yeah, kills here. Uh, Is going to be able to oh, get... Oh, wow. Oh, no, not... Oh, no, not able to get it. They're just going to have to turn back. They're going to ulti in onto the Braun. But it's not quite going to be able to pick it up. Does get the shield from his W, but the follow up wow. from uh, the Azir is there. I'm and telling you, Braum passive is just so, so crazy. strong. <laughs> Ooh, the stuns, everything, the follow up, and it is going to be there. Too. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah not going anywhere. Not anywhere with that Malphite there. That is super, super scary. And yes, the Graves there to follow up. I think Jarvan just wanted to, Jarvin to join me. Out and. Yep, it is just end up going to be taking out one cheek, taking down the Jarvan uh, with that last auto. Is going to back in, does not see the cranes there. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that Jin getting Ooh. that kill, or the Azir, or them, them getting the kill on Echo. Yes. I mean, if you see Echo has, uh, what is that? Uh, the stacking item, the cursed oh, uh, item. Oh, um, oh man, why, why can't I think Lost of it? Lost chapter, or? No, no it's not uh, soul, soul stealer. No, it's yeah, mad eyes. Mad eyes. Yeah, mad eyes. Soul stealer. Why can't I think of mad eyes? Why can't we both think of mad eyes? I was like, so I know it's soul stealer, but what is the what is the? That is hilarious. But yeah, yeah you see him going. Magi's you want to shut him down. Lost all his stacks. Okay, get some big damage. The that push is definitely rewarded here. Uh, you know, looking to pose around dragon here. Boss Collective getting some start down. Do they have vision here to see the rest of the I members? know they don't have Malphite. Ooh, so yeah, no Malphite. So we're going to engage super, super hard. Braum getting Braum uh, the front line. Yeah, get Ooh, the Echo Sun. Three mana Echo Sun. And the Zir being able to kill onto the Jarvan. Ash double kill coming up. Azir getting the trade though onto the Ash. Echo is still going wild though. That is so much damage coming. And then there's a 3v2 right now. 3v1. Jin. Gets oh. it, has the reload, not ultimate no. great. And three members, the lost luck to being able to make it out alive there. Jin could have gotten that, but it would have been iffy. Um, I think his ult was angled to the left. Yeah, he would have at least gotten one or two of them if the all ultimate was uh, angled a little differently. Yeah, there. but yeah. Jin, Jin is so strong in these team fights. Like, I mean, as you can see, they had three members left and Jin was still alive, but I mean, it seemed like, you know. They, it was Edward, scary. they, they yeah, chose to back off for a reason. They chose yeah. to back off for a reason. And it's just so strong. Echo didn't have ulti, so it was just not... It was too scary to go back in. You do see the teleport going down bot. They want this dragon here, and they are just going to start it immediately as they get in. Boss Collective trying to get into this fight. I don't know. Yep, they are going to be able to get the kill. They're not going to engage. Um, or, sorry. 
uh, and Warmon see picking up the dragon kill. So they are gonna get this. Look to go mid lane here. Boss Collective looking to go engage wow, the here ultimate. The and oh my god, oh my that god, god the damage from that is just nasty. There goes and the echo. Kill. Oh my gosh, they are just going in. Azir takes the tower there for a little bit, but yeah, it's just gonna be traded out. And Lost Bloods would have to give up this first tower. There's no way that they were gonna be able to get that after the pick. Um, Jin four shot. Wow, can we talk about that real quick? He yeah. is throwing down some massive damage. And it's and it's just it's gonna be massive damage even before that four shot. And so now it's just gonna be that four shot when he has it, it's gonna be a guaranteed kill. If, if you see the four shot up, you're looking for that kill. Nice W coming in. Yeah, dude, one cheat coming in, has the damage, raise is big. We've seen him big all game this game. And yeah, he's just gonna be able to pick up this top tower here for free pretty much. Woo! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Malphite ultimate back up, I believe. Uh is it? Yeah, or not quite. Ooh, yeah, Carol, that's no, not the fight you want, Echo. <laughs> Echo gets the exhausted, uh, but has to get out of there. Everyone's just gonna reset, look to uh look to come back. Um, yeah, and just kind of, kind of along the way. Lost Collective, though, uh, really having to be careful about uh, Jin and the Azir. Uh, you know, really Azir kind of getting these awesome ultimates off, and then Jin just right there to pick it up and finish it. Uh, you know, kind of finish it for free. So Lost Collective looking to switch things up. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe play things a little, a uh, little slower. I don't know, or maybe try and focus again. Um, you know, onto the Jin, onto the Azir, maybe try and single someone out. Um, I think that's really your only way to get these shutdown kills onto your onto your uh, your carry champions, and then maybe get yourself back into this game. Echo, though, right? Is there win con here? Looking to really have him kind of make a difference in these team fights for everyone else to kind of bring it out afterward. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, it's going to be a tough one for Lost Collective. I feel like, I mean, we're back to the, having the 4k gold difference. Jen is just a powerhouse right now. It's two and a half items. Um, and Ash has two, I guess. Uh, but Man Immune is, is not... not yet. Yeah, I, I don't think you can really compare a Man Immune to Storm Razor in, in terms of damage. The at least... Damage, yeah. 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 Yeah, what do you get? Yeah, you can't do anything with that Jin right there coming out, and then Braum there. Man, they are untouchable. Yeah, and it's really strong. And then Braum has a stone. What is it? It's not stone, stone plate. plate. Is, it, is it stone plate? Stone plate. Wait, the, his uh, item. No. Uh, yeah, or the first item. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and that's such a good item on Braum, especially when he's going to be in the front soaking up all that damage and coming. You saw that in everybody. the last team fight. He had yeah. his shield up and just soaking it all, so that way they get. So and yeah, I mean, Jin was last one to soak up even more. Oh man, okay. They see the engage. Lots of have wants it. They are going to get the knock up. It's not going to be much further though. Jin, or sorry, Grave, uh, just really wanting to. to Oh, oh no! Flash oh, okay. ultimate out. Okay, with the flash coming through, Darwin ultimate. Oh, will get the dash. Wow, he is slippery. Uh, despite missing that flash over the wall, uh, yeah, we'll end up getting out. But that so they will be Baron. Yeah, they're just gonna go through. They are so gonna get caught out with a hawk shot. Echo going in, trying to go for the Brom. Don't know if that was the right wow. call. There. They blew uh, Echo before he could ult. Ooh, this man, all the way through. Not what you want to see as Lost Collective. You're being picked off by the Jin. Oh, oh. misses the four shot. So uh, but it's just going to be able, yeah, it's super, super close. The W coming in with the flash is going to be able to maybe get this Orn out. Yeah, not much follow up. Malphite ult has been burned. But uh, wow, not what you wanted to see from Lost Collective. They are able to kind of salvage things and get out. But. Uh, yeah, the Echo being blown up. I don't know if you want to go in on the Braum there. You saw that on the engage. Uh, he had it was the only person that was stunned. Yeah, it was Braum, and he went um, in anyways. Yeah. But, oh boy, did that Azir and Jin blow him up. <laughs> he was not even able to ult. So, I think this this Jin is definitely win con 
I mean, it's it's all over the place. Graves is so far ahead. You saw how slippery he is, how much damage and sustain he has. He made um, it out after messing up his flash. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe that. I mean, and, and think about how much he burned for that, right? Jarvin had to flash. Jarvin had to ulti. Uh, and still not get it. We do see here the engage, the Lost Bucks have won it. They are able to pick off the Malphite here. Malphite all is not there, right? So they know they Graves can get in on it. Ooh, Graves is by himself, but it is just four, uh, sorry, five members of Lost Bucks are looking, looking big there for the Graves. Graves might try for the NBA, uh, sorry, for the steal. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna end up having to back out. I think this is gonna be a pretty free trade for Lost Collective. Oh, main foe too soon. Nope, Jarvin will end up getting it. Graze will uh, go down. And yeah, uh, Edouard Montpetit looking to back out there after the, uh, the fail steal. They but, might, go uh, they might go straight to Baron because Graze is down. Yeah, jungle is down. Uh, they have the uh, numbers advantage right now, um, especially uh, with when that number is uh, your jungle. Yeah, being down. So they are going to start this. Look. For this, I don't think that Edouard Montpetit is going to look to contest. Uh, yeah, I mean, Malphite, they're looking to move through, but I just don't think they have anything to do this. So, it's looking like a pretty free Baron for Lost Collective. There it goes down. Will they be able to walk out and get out without that? Yep. He's not going to be able to really, really pick. Yeah, it's kind of there for the, uh, the vision clear here. So, Lost Collective picking up a Baron that is pretty big. Uh, you know, it really seems like Lost Collective are keeping track of when this Malphite ult is up and then just going in hard uh -huh. when they know it's down because that is uh, seeming like how they have to win these team fights when they know crucial cooldowns. Yeah, and just like that, the gold's almost even again. So they're only about 1k down, but with Baron, they should be able to take maybe something, a tower maybe. Get something, yeah. But they're looking to break the base, hopefully, right? Is what I think. Uh, I mean, this, I don't know if they'd point. be able to do that, but I think they'd be able to at least get bot tower or top tower. Oh my god, they're looking for the gauge. What a beautiful Ord ultimate there onto the Graves. Being able to get the knock up there. But the Jarvin team is not there to follow up, though. Yeah. And Jarvin, or Jin, I mean, excuse me, just taking people up here is just going to be able to launch. There's the double kill. Uh, looking to go through. Echo, though, picking up a kill off the mouth by Jin, though, picking up his triple. And it is just going to be so much damage. As oh, Jin is wow. getting a beautiful ultimate out there. Jin coming in for the clutch. Not going to be able to get it, though, because Graves is going to take it before him. And it is just not the fight you wanted if you were lost. But yeah, you had a great orange of, uh, start that out there, but the team just was not there to follow up onto the Graves in time. Graves was able to get out, 1v1 the Jarvan there, break him out of the fight. Meanwhile, you have the rest of uh, Edouard Mavati coming in. Four members strong, and they're just they're just cleaning it up. They have the damage and everything. Echo does get some kills, but it's just not enough. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Jarvan went a little deep chasing the Graves there, but he got onto the Graves, and then he turned around, and his team was nowhere to yeah, be found. <laughs> it was very unfortunate. But Jin is just... And spice. I mean, they're just he is all so these. strong. Yeah, Jin has to go down again. Eleven and one right now. He's only died once. And just like follow up and get the kill. Man, uh, Ash having to heal there from the graves. Uh, but Jar she knows Jarvin is here for the support. Yeah, looking to just get the farm. Come back. But yeah, holy cow. Jin is super strong. He needs to go down in the fights. Echo needs to be looking for him uh, to be able to jump in. I definitely think that if they can take the Jin down, these team fights go a little bit differently. So, um, yeah, looking uh, looking to see here. Lost Collective, though, look that it, they're just kind of really seeing these like lone, lone champions, I feel like, and then instantly pulling the trigger. Uh, yeah. what it feels like so maybe they just need to wait for a little bit more information uh and then be no i like that they're, they're quick to go on it but i think right now that's hurting them i feel like if it, they need more of a sneaky engage not the orn engage they need to get that echo that oh. echo stun is this key that engage? okay we have the carbon all going through uh a lot of damage can be so stuff on uh, by the Brahm, but that's okay, oh. that's what he wants. Jarvan going back in, Malphite engaged though, counter engaged. 
That's not good. Uh, you have a great severe uh, picking up kills there. Two members of the team of Watchbox are down. Uh, Echo trying to get something here, going in, getting the ulti. Azir ult not picking up anything, but uh, yeah, it is just still four or five members excuse me, of, the team, uh, of the team still up on blue side, and they are just looking to keep going. It is just so much fight. Never slow. Echo doesn't have ulti anymore. Isn't able to pick up the stun. Jin picking up some damage there. Wow. Still like is going to be able to get the double kill with the grenade. And they are going to uh, try and take the base. That is four members of the team of Lost Busted down. And Wardmob to T. Break open the base. To looking to win him. here. Looking to GG this. It is going to be not enough, maybe? Jin has to go down here if this is going to work. And uh, it is not, not what's going to happen. They are getting super, super low. I don't know if they're going to decide to stay here or not. They know that they have the numbers and the cooldowns or the spawn timers are, are still counting. They are going to be able to pick up this turret. They're just going to try and focus down this next turret. And are they going to be able to take game number two here and win out the series? I think so. Four members of the team here. Yep, Azir trying to go through. Oh, they decide to focus out because they know they have it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is game number two. That is the series going over to Edouard Montpetit here tonight. It is going to go into a tiebreaker, I believe, here. Um, and that is just some crazy, crazy plays. You saw that they have these massive carries, uh, you know, being able to just kind of go throughout first. Um, gosh, geez. Jin just was popping off so much damage and that had so much to do with it. I mean, Azir uh, ultimates too, uh, really, really good picks. But um, yeah, wow. Uh, Edouard Montpetit knocking out here, or not knocking out, but stopping Lost Collective here tonight uh, in the last game of the regular season, uh, not going down and uh, actually will we'll end up taking it out. So they will uh, end up there looking for this tiebreaker i don't i believe that's going to be later tonight here might be right after this actually um might have to check with uh production on that one um but yeah some crazy crazy games coming out here tonight Poon's thoughts on the game oh okay perfect uh that is confirmation actually tiebreaker here uh in a little bit here um but yeah it's crazy crazy game number two uh, yeah, Pooj, you want to take us out? Uh, take us out for before the break. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a pretty good game on both ends. Uh, I like I called it out before the game started. That Brom pick was really strong. I think Brom passive is like just one of the most broken passives in the game, and they were able to like really get that popping off in team fights it, it saved Jin so many times and they were just able to keep him safe like there was just no way for echo to get onto him when he had a malphite graves and brahm in his face constantly and it just let azir and Jin pop off Jin could safely r you know from safe distance yeah, so and just get, back, yeah. get triple kill and then it, it, it was just he was just so far ahead that it just didn't matter it really didn't matter yeah, it didn't matter yep. at that point wow crazy crazy both of these games uh wow skirmishes all over all the time uh yeah some some really fire fire plays uh coming out tonight don't go anywhere though uh we will be back uh in after a short break here for the tiebreaker uh this is again uh tiebreaker for the last game looking to go into playoffs here next uh, you know, if uh, Lost Collect or sorry, if uh, Edouard Montpetit wins out, this will clinch him, I think, believe for second seed uh, in the playoff spot. So, uh, yeah, they are looking to come out strong. But oh, this is for first seed. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, this is going to be for first seed. So really, this tiebreaker looking to, to come out here uh, and, and clench the spot. So don't go anywhere. But we will be right back out of the short break.
All right, welcome back, everybody. It is a uh, time for the tiebreaker here. Uh, if you're just joining us now, uh, it has been a crazy series. Um, Edouard Montpetit was able to take it out in the best of three here uh, to take 2-0 from Lost Collective uh, and bring it to this tiebreaker, which we are at now. So, uh, yeah, we are getting a champion draft underway here. Um, and, yeah, there it is. Uh, we have it up on screen now. Yeah, some similar bands coming out, right? We do see the Yone and the Samira. This time the Ash band coming out. Man, we've seen the trades here uh, on the bands, right? First it was, like, the Kate play. Then we see the Kate band, Ash here, and then the Ash band. Uh, yeah, these are some popular DCs. So, yeah, not surprised that we're, we're looking to pick those out. Um, and then, yeah, I do think that we're just going to get some normal bands for the uh, teams here. They know what they play. Uh, they know what they're going to go for. So they want to ban out those power picks. Poods, after seeing these first, uh, the first series there, this is going to be a best of one uh, series. So who do you have your money on uh, going into this tiebreaker uh, after seeing those first couple games? I don't know. Edward team... They're the underdogs. They came out two to zero. Oh. I would put my money on them. That's just me, though. Like their team, I feel like they've been winning these games. Team comp alone, like they have a strategy in mind, and they've been able to execute it every single time. And I just think they're just a little bit more clean. Yeah, I definitely say they are looking uh, on fire tonight. Uh, definitely looking strong, right? Always uh, kind of being able to... Uh, they definitely look on the same page. Um, you know, these fights that are coming out look super coordinated. Uh, I think they're all kind of uh, looking for the same uh, type of picks, like looking for who to go on. Uh, the focus there is, is really nice. So, uh, yeah, dude, a warm appetite looking very, very strong. Definitely looking to carry the momentum into uh, this tiebreaker game here. Uh, but if you are lost collective, you are not looking to back down here. Uh, you are looking to clutch this out in the tiebreaker here. Uh, yeah, and I mean, definitely seeing here uh, Leona Caitlin come out. That is super, super strong. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you have the Morgana Jin, right? Just like you were saying, these team comps in the draft, right? Where you have Morgana being able to black shield uh, and definitely stop some of that CC coming from Leona. Um, it's just going to be going to be interesting. These bot lanes have been uh, have been crazy uh, matchups. I mean, yeah, it like, looks like Edouard Mappetit though coming out super super strong. So we're looking we're looking to see that type of energy and that type of fire come out uh in this in this game here uh we do see the yasuo pickup though it does uh it was not banned out first so we do see the yas pickup coming out for lost collective interested to see if we're gonna see um you know a couple picks to help out the knockups there uh so that way yas can get that engage off it looks like you know, really, it's going to have to be, uh, you know, some crazy, it could be some crazy Wombas with the Leo ultimate coming down into some knockups uh, into the Yasuo. So, yeah, looking to see some some Wombo combos coming out uh, from both of these teams. Uh, you have the Renekton being picked up there, um, you know, with some big, big dinosaur plays, uh, getting the stun, <laughs> slice and dice. Oh, and there's the Volley Bear. So, I think that's going to be, yeah, white volley jungle. I mean, we saw the volley plays early here. Uh, he is definitely big. We know he can be super, super strong with that ultimate coming through um, and just being just being a big damage guy, too, even despite being how tanky he can get. So, yeah, looking uh, to be a strong comp here, right? You have the Renekton and the volley being your front line for the Jin Morgana. We saw earlier that uh, this Jin can definitely pop off was definitely the reason why that that game number two went the way it did. Um, so yeah, looking to see that come through here, but it is going to be uh, you know difficult, right? Actually, just now thinking that Yasuo Windwall uh, could come through and be a uh, super clutch for Lost Collective. So we do see here new new coming through. Uh, that is the first time this series we've seen uh, that champ coming out. So uh yeah coming in looking for those big snowball ganks and then yeah into the vladimir okay so not not super super crazy you have the nunu there to help out the yasuo um but yeah we'll see what this last pick uh comes out here for edouard bon Petit. hey looking at these full team comps here poots give me your thoughts what are you thinking uh, are you thinking that uh, edouard bon Petit has the team comp here to be able to win this out and clutch out 
this first seed spot for playoffs? Or uh, you think Lost Collective is looking a little bit stronger here in draft? I think, I don't know, it's a toss-up. Looking Jin Morgana versus Leona Caitlin, Morgana can e-shield a lot of, you know, the engage from Leona, mm-hmm. which makes it hard for Caitlyn to to do anything on top of that. So it's pretty safe. We saw how hard Edward's team's Jin popped off last game. So, you know, we know he can do it. We know that he knows what he's doing. Um, Renekton versus Vladimir Top. I'm not really super familiar how that goes, but I know Vladimir is such a strong champion that scales so hard. So if they get to late game, he'll be really strong. Yasuo also really late game, really strong. You know, gets <laughs> gets boots, upgraded boots, and is hits a power spike. So, I mean, and it's Karthus mid he also scales really, really hard. So I feel like it's a toss up. I feel like nobody's actually won champ select, you know, like la- the past couple games have been so one sided. I just definitely think at this point it comes down to skill and it comes down to the junglers. Who's what jungler is going to get what lane ahead and what lane is going to snowball. Like you also can definitely hard snowball against Karthus. Um, Vladimir can definitely hard snowball a game. Uh, it just really depends. Um, Renekton will can snowball early, but he falls off late game compared to Vladimir, and not really sure what what that means for their for them. But I don't know. Jin Jin could definitely pop off. Has two tanky boys in front of him. Karth is putting out tons of DPS. It's a it's definitely a toss up. Interesting here. Uh... I don't know if that's the right pick order, but is that a Yas jungle? I don't know. They might trade it. I don't know if that's a, a thing. I thought after pro draft we'd see the right uh, <laughs> or just in order. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I think they are going to trade, but um, yeah, that's <laughs> I know a little interesting coming. Out. I don't know though because it's Lost Collective. We've already <laughs> seen. <laughs> all right we're back here sorry about the technical difficulties i can't see what's going on uh we look like we're still trying to get this back up here for everybody there it goes okay but uh, I, I definitely, <laughs> if, if it really is yasuo jungle <laughs> with nunu mid he he snowballs and he clears waves so quickly that he can just rotate and and gank other lanes after as soon as he hits level two, and and I mean if he rotates oh, like say say they clear out level um he clears out his lane and ganks top lane together with Nunu at level two or level three like it could definitely be detrimental against the Renekton and if I was them that'd be the gameplay if it is Yasuo jungle. It I'm not like really sure. <laughs> okay, okay. It looks like they're switching around. I think it's okay. going to be traditional, but... <laughs> it would be Lost Collective that does it, though. It would be them that does it. Uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. But uh, it would be kind of funny to see that come out here in a uh, tiebreaker. Holy cow. Uh, maybe it's a secret chat that they've been working on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I think you're definitely, though, right, right. We're going to be seeing the new new snowball knockout Yasuo synergy. Um, yes. I, I, and there's no other reason why I feel like they would have picked that um, just to just for that synergy. I mean, you definitely want if you have Yasuo, you definitely want to at least give him some knockouts to help him out there. So, um, yeah, Nunu, we know can clear uh, super, super fast, has the consume, has the smite, too. If- um yeah, really looking to see. I think you're right. I think you're looking to see right when the, when the game comes down here for the lanes to come to a skill matchup. I think you're right in where where are we going to see the jungler? Like where are we going to see the jungle give that advantage right to well, one of the, one the, of the thing. players? We thought it was Volibear jungle Renekton and top Karthus, Karthus mid, oh, mid, but it, it looks Karthus like it's jungle. Karthus jungle. Volibear top Renekton mid. So I'm not really sure how well Yasuo does into Renekton. I know Renekton is really strong early. Um, is a good duelist has the stun. 
Yeah, so and he heals a lot. So I'm not really sure how that matchup's gonna go, especially not sure how Volibear versus Vladimir. I'm not super familiar with these kinds of champs like top laners and things like that. So um not sure, but I know Karthus jungle is really strong. He can get off some ganks, can get off a lot of DPS, and he just scales so hard. Presses the R button and there goes half your HP. Yeah, so I can definitely turn it. fights. <laughs> yeah, I can oh definitely turn fights. I don't think anybody on the Lost Collective is building a Zanius, maybe Vlad, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll see. it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Um, I think uh, again, right? Yeah, I'm with you on this one. I don't know the matchups top or uh, yeah, with the top lane champions. I do think looking at it though, right? Uh, having Renekton mid versus the Yasuo, uh, really, like, what what is Yasuo's wind wall going to do for him? Kind of takes that out of the equation. Uh, Renekton can kind of just get up and in Yasuo's face. I know they both want to kind of be on each other for the melee range and everything, but Renekton has the stun to turn things around. Um, and yeah, it's going to be dependent on Yasuo getting the knockup, I think. So, um, yeah, I think that's a good pick uh, coming out for uh, <clears throat> coming out for Edward. Um, they definitely have, you know, the just I think just the better matchup there uh, to go against the Yasuo. Hopefully, not make him, uh, you know, not let him get his power spike. As we all know, Yasuo can be a monster. Um, so yeah, I mean, Lost Collective though, right? Looking to get late game. You have Vladimir and Yas, uh, definitely looking to get there. But equally, right, you have Karthus uh, and Jin. Uh, and Volibear too, you know, late game coming through. I, I don't know if Renekton falls off late game. I think he does. Yeah, he does. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Lost Collective looking a little bit more scary, uh, I think, than uh, or can be at least, or for Snowball has the potential to be a little bit more scary here than Edward. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We're a few seconds away from getting into the rift here, uh, and loaded in, but um. Yeah, I, it's going to be crazy. This is it, right? This is the one for first seed into playoffs. And this has come down to the final tiebreaker game. Uh, so, yeah, this, this really is it. Uh, you know, uh, so definitely looking to see both teams here uh, coming out, uh, giving it their all here. And Warmapati looking has the momentum uh, from the series, uh, series games to come through this. Um, you know, in chat, we love to see your support here as we get into this game. Throw a shout out there uh, to your favorite players who you think is going to win. Um, yeah, as we get this game underway, uh, we love seeing all the support. Poods, uh, yeah, now that we finally got all, you know, full, full champ slack, full lanes, we know who's going where, you know, no crazy trolls or surprises, you know, at the, at the, uh, at the team cost there. Who, 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 who are you going to go with? Are you still going to go with Edward here? Or are you looking for, uh, looking to maybe change things up after seeing, uh, seeing drafts, uh, fully played out? I mean, I want them to win, but I definitely think at this point it just def it comes out to which lanes they're going to get ahead. Because Jin Morgana is pretty safe; they can put out a lot of DPS if they make it through lane. But Leona Kaylin is so oppressive. If Leona gets on to Jin or Morgana and lands all of the CC, then it can definitely turn the tide, you know, and they can get ahead. Ooh, but yeah. I mean, I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see here, and I think I just heard the game load in two, uh, two Summoner's Rift, but uh, I think there might be some connection issues. Oh, nope, nope, here we go. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we're bugging out this time, and there it is. We're loading. Yeah, all the items are through here. It looks like all the members will... Oh, wait. We'll decide to buy here. We won't have any missed buys like that first game. Yeah, there it is. Everyone in. Pretty standard start. I don't know here. Uh, looks like there might be a bot lane invade going through. You had the Morgana Q, right, to be able to start things off here. I don't know if Renekton starts stun. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, you're definitely here on the side of Edward looking for this pick. They do get spot out. Caitlyn will dodge there. But the flash for flash already going out. That is fine. You know, going for the aggressive plays, I like to see that. Even, you know, in these important crazy games, you know, you might let the nerves get to you. But nope, they're confident and they're going in. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be a flash for flash. So, Caitlyn, no flash. That might change things, right? She can't flash the Morgana Q if it's going to land. And uh, that could set things up for this early, uh, you know, for the early bot lane there for the Jin to get ahead. Just like we saw him being a monster last game. 
Whew. Pretty normal after this. I don't think anything more is going to happen here. Yeah, but, oh, wait. Where's the Morgana? Just not in range to see there. Half health already coming into lane. Wow. Okay, what a start there, Yasio having to back. This is going to be huge for Renekton. Uh, well, you know, Yasuo does have TP. He might have to use it just oh, to get back already to Lena's I didn't see the TP. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's going to have to TP. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Definitely not trying to get that uh, advantage or disadvantage. That have been huge. Coming back was that one. I don't know if he was there for that one. He might have missed one minion, but yeah, coming through. Be normal. All right. Yeah, pretty standard. I think right now they're just going to feel each other out. Who's going to get uh, posi or prio or position here? Um, yeah, still super, super early. Both junglers here. We see Karthus picking up. <clears throat> new new walking over to the top side. Uh, yeah, I don't really think anything crazy is going to happen until we start seeing some levels here and some items. Wow, that is so much damage coming from the Renekton early trades. Uh, Yasuo is going to have to watch out uh, for that, not to take too many of those. Vladimir playing this out. We know Vladimir is playing for the late game. Yasuo also just trying to survive laning phase and get to the late game. Morgana's hitting these bindings like it's nothing. Jin there for the quick root follow-up. <clears throat> Pretty standard. I don't know. I think because this is the last game, I think we might be seeing these teams play a little bit safer here. Yeah, you saw the... Mm -hmm. uh, the early aggro, but no one wants to lose this, you know, when it's all for uh, all for the eggs in the basket, right? You're not gonna not gonna play anything super crazy. Good roots there. Whack now, nice pull. Yeah, it's just gonna be pretty normal top lane, but yeah, I mean, definitely, I feel like compared to the last two games, we would have seen we would have seen some jungle uh, jungle pressure here at least in some of these lanes here. Yasuo trying to go back in to get a little bit on that trade. Not going to be too much. Has the knockup ready. Volley bear looking big there. Bear claw. Yeah, I mean, that is huge, but under the turret is just going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit too far. I mean, that turret range, yeah, it was right on the edge, I think taking two turret shots Yasuo having to flash to get out Karthus not being able to get it either and that is just not uh unfortunate that is just unfortunate I mean you really uh almost had the engage there. I think Renekton would have gotten that if he didn't take those tower shots mm -hmm. and then the Karthus coming in to try and clean things up uh unfortunately Yas having the flash will get out and Karthus won't be able to pick that up. That is going to be two kills going over to Lost Collective early. We do see the engage going down bot lane here. The Black Shield already onto the K. Uh, sorry, yeah, already onto the Jin. Flash having to be burned for the Nunu. But uh, oh wow, nice net headshot onto the Jin. He's going to have to be careful though. The Black Shield is a long cooldown, and uh, Leo is still looking strong. So yeah, not really going to be too too much more. <clears throat> Lost Collective in a good spot here, at least for the early fight. And top lane, yeah, there it goes. Going for the engage. Karth is coming in, having uh, Vladimir having to flash out to get to safety. And that is just going to be it. But cooldowns being burned all over here. Uh, Yasuo not having his flash. Uh, looking to be a little bit easier to get onto here. Right, Renekton stun. Karth is slow uh, and all the damage. So we'll have to see how they play this out. Looks like... We might see the back lane bot, uh, or sorry, back lane reset. We do see the Yasuo decide to go in. Nunu's here for the knockup, has the snowball going. Uh, is not going to get the knockup. Renekton's going to back out towards his uh, top jungle. He knows Karthus is there to help if necessary. But yeah, not much. Ooh, nice knockup. I want to wait until level 6. Level 6 uh -oh. is going to be crazy. Nice dark binding. And it is just going to be not enough the dark oh heal having to go out oh if that was a four shot that would have been it but heal like having to be burnt yeah Damn. both of them oh my gosh but the counter gank nunu is just everywhere right now flash onto the gin uh leo is gonna back out the t as the tp comes in and it's just gonna be mid lane here while the bot lane pressure yas trying to, what uh to do what he can but it looks like this time uh yeah that's gonna be uh, able to pick up the kill maybe not he's just dashing around i'm not sure what happened the mid oh no they did get it sorry yeah they uh, did. and then uh yeah bot lane here looks like they were able to survive the counter gank 
uh and yeah kind of keep things even down there yeah both uh oh leo decided not to back okay yeah, i think she just came back but yeah anyway we get the reset off on the side of lost collective you do have the yasuo going down there this time to the renekton uh and that is good that gets him you know kind of back on even footing here you know kind of take two right round two let's try this again uh it may not have worked out the first time but they aren't afraid to have it try again uh, yeah but you have to see here that volleyball yeah. tp bot to try to help save them but it was able vlad was able to push the wave make volley lose a couple waves of cs to the tower and get about over two two plates. two plates so he has a lot of gold in his pocket compared to to to, to the volley bear who didn't get, didn't get anything when he went bot yeah definitely there i mean vlad right too right we we're t uh you're saying earlier vlad is playing for that late game we all know he can be that yep. late game monster that just is unkillable just heals just does the damage uh that's what he's aiming for and yeah right getting the place getting this early goal is a lot for him now mid we do see the engage coming down here uh flash having to go out to uh yasuo ult though uh being able to pick it up uh, but actually, Leo is going to be able to one uh, to pick up that kill. A uh, little unfortunate there, but yeah, they are able to shut down or uh, yeah, take down the Renekton there. Uh, yeah, it is just looking to get this Yasuo mid lane even further ahead. You see normal jungle. Jungle might come top. No, I don't think so. Yeah, not really in a place. But I don't know if they're uh, they really even want to look for it. Because yeah. Vlad doesn't have to do anything. He just kind of keeps us going. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, it's cool. That, that's that's fine with them. So Watch Collective playing play into their strengths here. Renekton going in. Man, Renekton goes in all the time. I think that's how you kind of have to play this here. Nunu coming in. I don't think he sees it yet for the gank. He's going to get the knock up here. Oh. Doesn't need the ultimate. And it is just going to be GG for that Renekton. Uh, yeah, that is not what you want to see here early with Yasuo. Two kills, uh, you know, definitely hitting his power earlier. Yep, uh, he has the boots. Yeah, it's just going <laughs> to be, just gonna be that much harder, especially, right? We were talking the new, new synergy. Uh, just going to hit these knockouts. It's going to make it easy for him. So, yeah, saw that one coming through, uh, coming through, you know, so, as soon as those champions are picked. But now, right, it's up to, uh, Kind of up to uh, Edouard Montpetit to, to look for something here. Maybe get their gin ahead because um, they're not winning the mid lane battle here. Karthus, though, you know, once level six, he's got to get a little bit. But you're right, Karthus scales very well. The ultimate comes down on all the members of the team and it's just free damage. There's the knockup. Doesn't even need the new new knockup. Does it himself. And there is some explosive damage. Oh man, gets the knockup on the car after all. Wow, Leona coming down from Bali and gets the ultimate. Yasuo will get the kill there onto the Karth as well. Two members uh, going down there uh, pretty much uncontested. I mean, yeah, just saying we can tower dive. Lost Collective coming out very strong. Uh, yeah, Yasuo, monster. Yep. New He's monster. Pretty Both strong. have bounties. Whew, not that's that's scary. That's scary. I feel like at this point, Karthus, if I was him, I'd need to get my gin online because Renekton is already so far behind. Volibear's not gonna be able to 1v9. It definitely needs to be the gen who's gonna be fed here for their win con. Um but I don't know if Karthus is able to get a decent gank off of a Leona and Caitlyn, you know? Yeah. So just kind of at this point it's like what is the win con for your team? And how yeah. do you get that online? Oh gosh, man. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be the gin, it, or it's gotta be the gin. There's no other option. And like you're saying, right? Here comes the gank yep. down bot lane. Karthus trying to get yep. something going on here. You have there it is. Uh, Jin getting the kill onto Leona, at least it's something. You also have the Karthus picking up the kill onto the Caitlyn, getting that down. Yasuo though down here to play. Nunu as well, and it is gonna be a turn there. You do get the kills uh, going, but at what cost? And uh, yeah, it's just not uh, looking pretty here right now uh, for Edouard Montpetit. There's just a lot of uh, kills going over, and this Yasuo hyper carry uh, is just going to be online super, super early. Whew. Yeah, I don't know what the win con is for Edouard. You have to get Jin. You have to get two people ahead, I think. It's literally going to be Jin and 
and Volley Bear or like Jin, you got maybe Renekton gets back online. But doesn't oh, seem no. doesn't seem like that's gonna happen when uh you have the follow-up like that, Dash is in and it is gonna be into CC though. Uh nice wind wall there to block out uh block out that damage onto the DOS there. Oh no, I think it was the other way around. Sorry, Caitlin, yeah, it was going the other way. So still though. Nice wind wall stops him uh, from taking, you know, any of those damage there. Yas with a huge bounty, five and one, looking strong. He's exactly where he wants to be. You know, the rest of the team also not looking uh, too bad off, right? Vladimir doing his thing, just kind of getting there. Caitlyn and Leo, you know, both even down with this bot lane, but it just seems like they have the pressure because of the other lanes winning. So, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, lots collective looking to shake off those first two games and say hey we can uh we can break it out here we are uh we were you know number one going into this before those before those series games looking to looking to show why definitely getting the knockups here Nunu coming in a little bit late oh gets the knockup onto him wow doesn't really even need the yasuo there afterward i mean yeah That's yasuo poked him down but <laughs> holy cow they're Nunu. just so far ahead and Renekton being so far behind, I guess they can just, they feel confident enough to take that. Just say, yep, here we go. Whew, you have to stop this mid lane if you're uh, Edouard, Mon Petit, you have to stop him. Uh, it is just, uh, it is just a lot going down almost every other play, it seems like it's gonna be in the mid lane and uh, there's no resistance right now. It is definitely hard. You have the nice dark binding into the Jin. Uh, snare and there it goes you have bot lane coming online unfortunately goes over to Morgana but you are stopping the Caitlyn so that is good to see there you have the volley bear massive ult coming out and definitely getting the Vlad to take down uh the turret damage but wow Vlad comes back and says oh I'm just gonna pop you and uh <laughs> yeah. yeah turns that around wow was not expecting that uh, especially after those two turret damage but wow Vlad is strong you have the Yasuo down bot lane looking here. You might get the dive. Yeah, totally. Nonu uh, has the snowball. Oh, actually decides to back out. He's weak. He's going to have to flash out. Nice wind wall there to stop the Jin ultimate. Uh, Karthus looking top lane, but I don't think he's going to be able to get the Vlad. Uh, Renekton down bot. Getting the black shield. Not enough. Gets the stun. Ooh, nice uh, stopwatch, though. Ooh, gosh, the turns, though. The four shot going off onto the Jin with the flash. It's not going to be enough to pick it up. You have That's to stop so watching sad going that down. Yasuo's passive was up when he flashed four shot, didn't take any damage. Oh, man. So yeah, much Yeah, I think at this point, Yasuo is so far ahead. The CS difference is huge, and he has five kills. Um, I, I definitely think it's going to be a struggle to get back into this game. I, I definitely think, like I said, once again, Jin is their only hope at this point, and it's looking rough when there's three or four people constantly in your lane. Yeah, yeah, definitely the whole team is down there. We've seen the multiple uh, support from Lost Collective, you know, going down. It's a, it's usually four members, too. Four members, right? Because they can just leave Vladimir up top to do his thing. He's doing yeah. it. So four members of the team coming down, and what you know, it's just gonna be Morgana Jin. They can only do so much against that. All right, you do have the Morgana Dark finding going off. Wow, the Jin all the way from the back line getting the root, and there goes Karthus picking this up. They are trying to get something, you know, for that bot lane going down. They are getting or picking up the kills onto the Kate, but again, uh, it's the Yasuo who's who's the one to worry about. You know, they can keep getting the kills. You know, get get the gold, get the econ back in. But uh, until they can find a way to shut down this Yasuo, uh, yeah, there, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a tough battle. For sure. Well, they're getting some decent damage on the turret, but plates are already gone. It's so late that they're not gonna get any extra gold for that. Yeah, flash having to be burnt there on the Leo. But it looks like they they're all bot side, and they're gonna lose mid turret to Yasuo and Nunu now. Yeah, I think, I mean, right? They know that the Yasuo is so far ahead. Are they just going to ignore him, you know, and try and get something elsewhere <laughs> when they can? But <laughs> they cancel uh, the card this whole team. Not great here. Uh, not looking like what you want to see uh, have happen. I mean, I don't know. I, oh, man, I don't want to say they're they're out of it, right? But it is looking like uh, Lost Bucks are running away with this game here. Um, they have a 5k gold lead. 
and are definitely looking to extend oh, that here, especially with Yasuo. the fight. You have a low Yasuo did get exhausted, but does get in there to be able to lay down the damage still. You have the Jin ultimate going off, but it's not wow, going to be enough. Wow, that Volibear disappeared. And yeah, with the Volibear coming in, can uh, just eat the bullets. Uh, yeah, and it will end up being a three for one in the favor of Lost Collective. They are looking to just extend this lead and take uh, and end this game uh, as soon as they can. I mean, they just are are really taking. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, look at this. They're looking for both top uh, second tier towers, top and mid, right now. They have yeah. so much control, and uh, and Warmon Petit can't stop them. They don't have an answer right now uh, to stop top, mid, or right now looking like bots about to come on. Yeah, it's pretty rough. They have a, a, a gaping wound right now, and they're trying to look for yeah. any way to... Stop the bleed, Doctor! Stop yeah. the bleed! Cut exactly. it off! Amputate it! Do something! Because, uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta do anything right now to try <laughs> to try and come back alive. Oh, man. Uh, this game, you know, coming in, with, even with the momentum, I mean, at War Monty, they were looking great. They were looking on fire, fantastic. Uh, those first two games is just this third one, uh, you know, one for all the marbles, unfortunately, uh, is not going in their favor. Um, and so, yeah, right now, I mean, Renekton got super far behind, but oh, wow. Yep. Speaking of which, he's going to get caught out here again. So much being burnt for him, but that is going to be uh, just a guaranteed kill. So now they have the numbers, the dragons coming up. They have the objective. Uh, yeah, Lost Collective. Really looking to take this one for free, maybe? I don't know if they're even going to try and contest this. Knowing yeah, that they have... Yeah, not they can really do. Yep. Alright, yeah. Tries what they can. Oh, Karthus might be caught out there. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Coming in from behind. The Jin is going to try and do what he can. The pool is just going to be down there. Oh my just god, free. And damage. There's just so much here. You had the flash from the Yasuo getting in. Oh. Billy Berto picking up the kill. He is unstoppable on this Yasuo. Will end up getting the kill onto Morgana. And they are just running away with this. I think Lost Collective here is just going to keep up what they're doing. Uh, and they're looking to close out this game here uh, pretty soon. I mean, they are pushing all the lanes. Uh, all the time they have so much control right now yeah yeah i um i'm not really sure what they can do the gold difference is looking pretty steep it, and it's it's just getting worse and worse growing yeah oh gosh the disparity yeah you're exactly right looking at the gold i mean you saw it kind of you know covering there you know saying but after these skirmishes fight after fight when they're when they're getting these things like this uh and yeah, the trades aren't going through as well as you'd want. Yeah, they're just running away with the lead. I mean, we're. I think yeah, I think we're just gonna see this lead get bigger and bigger. That Vlad is huge. He has definitely done his job here to try and just uh, get as big as he can for late game. Yeah. Oh, Karth is all going out, but it's not gonna be enough. No. Nope. Just a little bit far behind. Does not have the damage uh, like you know we were looking for or they were hoping for. Um. Yeah, it's just, it's fallen behind. I think it's just kind of domino effect. You have four members of uh, Lost Collective with bounties on them. They're super, super strong. And uh, yeah, no one really got anything going on the side of uh, Mon uh, Edouard Montpetit. So mm -hmm. as unfortunate as that is, looks like they're going to just do what they can. Reset here. Uh, you know, turtle this out. Maybe, you know, maybe they can. Maybe uh, Lost Collective starts throwing um you know and then some of these fights here but uh it, it's just hard because right now you can't even really focus one person because the rest of lost collective they're all big and so it's like yeah you can focus the yasuo but caitlin's gonna be there uh vladimir's huge yeah I mean, vladimir you have the new new ultimate too anyone inside that circle is gonna take massive damage he sticks in one uh i it just i don't know i don't know what you do here uh you know you do what you can maybe get some picks out vision is important uh objectives maybe play for objectives but lost collective is sitting on soul point as well and uh yeah i mean if they get that i i think it's probably gg after that point you do see the pp coming in here and oh, oh that's no. it it's gonna be a surrender that is gg going over to lost collective uh, they are going to take out the tiebreaker here, and that is for first seed going into playoffs. 
So uh, after a long, grueling uh, three battle or three game battle here, uh, Lost Collective uh, ends up taking it out for the victory, uh, and that 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 will be it. They will be going in for first seed. Nice. Wow, what a series here! And Ward Monfati taking out the first two, but Lost Collective bringing it out and standing their ground uh, for uh, yeah for the third uh, and final game. So. Yeah, they secure their spot. It looks like we will have an uh, after uh, after game interview. I'm excited about this one because, uh, yeah, what a crazy chain of events here uh, tonight. But, um, yeah, after all that, uh, Edouard Montpetit take the series, but Lost Collective end up, uh, you know, taking taking out the uh, taking out the division there with that final tiebreaker. So um yeah wow great great job for lost collective looks like we might be getting i don't know what players we're going to be getting in here but it <laughs> looks like we're looking for an interview to come through here shortly uh but yeah poods what are your thoughts after watching these crazy games three it went to three and uh yeah here we go oh we are in here okay perfect philly b uh, we want to welcome Philly B here to the stream after that crazy, crazy game uh, and series there. Uh, I mean, yeah, wow. Let's just talk. Let's just jump into it. Talk about that last game. I mean, Yasuo carry uh, super, super big there. Um, yeah. Tell us your thoughts. What were you thinking about that game? How'd you feel? Uh, well, they, they insta locked their neck into Yasuo. So I started crying a little bit in draft and I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was gonna be really bad, but he just kind of just, just just died over and over and know. over and over. I mean, <laughs> had uh, some great synergy there uh, with the new new coming in yep. with knockups. There, you know, we saw the ganks uh, coming in too to get you get you going. Um, is that usually a, a nice combo you guys got there going with the new new uh, or the new new look and coming in for you? Uh, yeah, with the Yasuo, we usually try to pair with something like that. Just something to, like that. Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it shows, man. You definitely uh, definitely popped off that game. Everyone everyone was watching. Um, definitely ran away with it. It was it was crazy to see. Um, let's uh, let's roll it back, though. Uh, let's roll it back to that first game here. Uh, can you can you talk more about that Kindred pick? <laughs> hey, so the the Kindred was originally supposed to be uh, going in the jungle, and then we so we we blind um, we blinded Cassio, and then they locked in Oriana. And Oriana versus Cassio is pretty much unplayable for Cassio if the Oriana knows what she's doing. So we just swapped everyone around and put me on Kindred. It was yeah. interesting because, uh, yeah, definitely didn't. I didn't see it until uh, Pooter mentioned something in, in as we were loading the game. And it was like, oh, wow, I didn't like we have a kindred mid. This is I don't know how this goes into Oriana. Um, but yeah, it was just a crazy pick. Uh, I, I feel like we've seen these from you guys before. Just uh, I think there was like a lease in back at the Yeah, there was a lease in. Yeah, they did. Uh, I feel yeah, like just fun stuff. I feel like your kindred mid would have been fine if you would have gotten help early. If you would have gotten help early, got a yeah. got a mark, but you sat on your mark for so long. And I didn't get you, my first mark for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, exactly. And and I feel like if Jarvan would have helped you mid and not like gone oh. bot and then gotten far farther behind, you guys would have been able to go into their jungle if you had prio and were ahead early. But it, that didn't happen, so you just fell behind, behind, behind. But you eventually got to like a point where you were really strong, but by that, that point it was just too late. Yeah, it's just Caitlyn outranges me out there. <laughs> yeah, she almost <laughs> one shot you in the end. It was a little rough. Jeez, man. Well, exciting games. I mean, yeah, the series uh, may not have gone the way you guys wanted it to, uh, but really kind of clutching it out there in that last tiebreaker game. I mean, what a game to 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 step up and really, really, you know, uh, have things clutch out. Um, with you here, do you want to give any shout outs to anybody, uh, anyone on your team, or any other fans out there? Uh, I want to shout out my uh, ADC for running it down on me the two games in a row. I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to shout out Malone for the for the camp uh, the last game, and uh, shout out Imperial Knights for uh, not making playoffs. Sorry, boys. Oh man! All right, all right. Um, well, uh, dude, uh, Philly B, thanks for coming in here. Uh, it's been an exciting uh, last game or way to end out the regular season. Uh, we're happy to have you guys here. Congrats on the win uh, to you and your team. Uh, Lost Collective, again, really taking it out strong in that last tiebreaker for the first seed in playoffs. Again, congratulations. Yep. Thanks for the interview.
See you guys. Awesome. No problem. Bye. Have a great rest of the night. Awesome. Well, everyone, that is going to be it for uh, tonight's games. Uh, again, that was week six. We are finished uh, with regular season here. Uh, we are looking to move into playoffs next, uh, and those will be uh, the should be the most exciting games uh, that we have going on here. The best of the best uh, coming in at the end here. Um, but yeah, everybody, it's uh, it's been uh, me, Mystic Asian, and Pooter, but here, uh, Pooter, if you want to give any shout outs or anything as we roll out. Uh yeah, I'll let you uh let you close it out. Um, no specific shout outs, but I appreciate everybody for coming by, watching the games. It was pretty fun. I had a lot of a lot of fun casting with you, Mystic. So I appreciate everybody stopping by. Um, but yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night.